Welcome to the Geek Home World Podcast. I'm your host, Ed, a.k.a. The Savage Tech Man. We talk film, TV, and tech, all from a geek perspective. You can find us on X, Instagram, Facebook, and you can subscribe and follow on YouTube at Geek Home World. Don't forget to subscribe wherever you get your podcasts. Be a part of the Geek Home World. So I guess I'm going to get into the Joe Fist stuff. And no, there was no... I I purchased zero G.I. Joe stuff. (laughs) At Joe Fist. At Joe Fist. So, but that's okay because, you know, I, I... Everything that I saw there as far as classified series goes, I've already gotten or it's something that I passed on and, you know, intentionally passed on. So... I picked up a three pack of these Assassin Skeletrons by Skeletron. Those are cool. I like those. And there is a review forthcoming on all this stuff. I'm I'm currently working my butt off to get this stuff filmed so I can get it in the editing bay and get it out soon. All right. Then another pickup I got was a Savage Crucible Lemurian Royal Guard. And these are pretty cool figures. That was the whole, and what's the, what's the line? I forgot. I had them tagged and Savage Crucible there is the line for this. I'm not usually in the stuff like that, but that whole line like really amazed me. Oh no, no. You're thinking, you're thinking of of the next thing up. You're thinking of mythic legions from the four horsemen. And I'm, I'm, I'm getting to that. I'm getting, okay. Sorry. (laughs) Oh, that's okay. But speaking of four horsemen, I picked up the figure, figura obscura, Sun Wukong, the Monkey King. That looks like And Proximus. this <laughs> is an excellent, excellent figure. Yeah, it, the again, video I'm doesn't working, do it. It doesn't do it justice as seeing it in person. No, it really doesn't. It really doesn't. And, uh, of course, I got none of the studio lights on here because it's going to blind the camera. So there's that. Now... For Mythic Legions, and I kind of wish I hadn't jumped in this rabbit hole, but I did. You're bankrupt, brother. <laughs> I, I, I've been bankrupt, brother. You're so on the way. You're here on the way, we brother. have the Mythic Legions, Arachagor. Awesome. And I would say this is one of the most impressive action figures I have ever had in my hand. Do a slow turn with them so we can kind of see... That's pretty cool. I like the the features in the face there and and all that. Yeah, the jaw articulates. The only thing that I wish this guy had come with was some kind of flame effect that could fit in his mouth like he's shooting fire. So like flame That's on. That's the only thing missing from this guy. And he's he's a really big chunky piece and and he's it's got some heft to it. It's solid. So then I also got the Gold Knight 2. So he's got a lance or a spear. I guess that's more of a spear than a lance. So really, really, I mean... This line is just impressive. And then let's see. This guy's name I think is Arazak. And he's he comes with an alternate head, but I thought he looked cooler with his you shall not pass face you going shall on. Not pass. So but he's a bad wizard. Oh yeah. He was one of my favorite and, and I think uh Dig, uh, Digital Cave Queen thought of the same because he's got the different heads on there. Like one is like yeah, he's a, got two different. He's got like, like a relaxed, a relaxed one of the raging, and then you know the you shall not pass. 
Ed. Right. It's not Red's. And then again, because one it's night Ed's. is not enough, I picked up the Dark Templar. Oh, he's he's pretty cool too. And then another very impressive looking figure is this one, and her name is Thrace Wraithhaler. And for those of you who um, watch a lot of my reviews, y'all know I complain a lot about lines not having soft goods with wires in them. There, There is not a bit of soft goods on this figure that does not have wire in it. This little flap here in the front, this cape piece in the back, it's all wired. Is wired good? Wire is excellent because it means okay. you can pose your capes, your fabric capes. Sweet. And I'm trying to pick this up without knocking a bunch of stuff off. Then I got this guy who's like one of the evil gods. His name is Poxus. And he, you know, his thing is disease. Beans and disease to you too. Hmm. And he's got he had all kinds of goodies in the pack with him. These bug wings and this magic circle thingy. That looks like and one of, course of them. It's not all right here. I, I couldn't fit it all on the figure. But I was he's cutting the grass. Two different bow and arrows. And, yeah. I was cutting the grass and, the other day, and I think I saw a cicada that looked like that. <laughs> yeah, you probably did. <laughs> it was scary. The only thing like, is, that cicada going ain't going to give you no disease, and this guy, is, uh, he is, like, disease-y. I hope not. Apparently, according to what it says on the on the website. And then I also... Pick this up. This is actually after Arrakagor, the first, this, this is the second figure that mm -hmm. I picked up because I was really curious as to how the horses worked in, in this Mythic Legions line. So I picked up this horse. His name is Boreas, and he's a pretty BA horse, if you know what I mean. He's a BA Baracus? Yeah, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and that that's all my Mythic Legions pickups. For now. But it's not the last things that I picked up at Joe Fest. I stopped at the Beasts of the Mesozoic table several times and ended up picking a, up a couple of things. And generally, their, their stuff is uh, apparently a lot of it is in 1 to 18 scale which is basically three and three quarter inch scale. And so normally I don't mess with that kind of stuff, but I figured some of the stuff I could fudge in to other places like maybe a Savage Land display or for photos, stuff like that. So this guy is a Zunaceratops Christopheri. And it's a pretty, pretty impressive little piece. I mean, look at all the paint apps on this thing. And the range of movement on it is really, really good. Then the second one I picked up, mm -hmm. and let me tell you, these things got some heft to them. They are heavy. They are solid. There's not a lot of hollow in the, the core of this guy. So this guy, the Triceratops Horridus, and I mean, the paint apps on this thing, it's just incredible, the detail and the sculpt on it. And it has a pretty good range of motion on it too. And it even, the mouth opens and 
Uh, I can't find his tongue. I think his <laughs> tongue fell out. So, but he does have an articulated tongue as well. You can move it up and down and side to side a little bit. So then the last thing from the Beasts of the Mesozoic table, and this this will finish up my, my Joe Fest haul. <laughs> and I actually didn't pick this one up. After 23 years of marriage, my wife, the Digital Cave Queen, <laughs> managed to surprise me, sort of. And um, she had to send ed here over to me i was at a different table looking at stuff and, and, and uh, i was so slick had about to come it, over right? and he's like don't ask questions just give me your wallet <laughs> and i'm like somebody's finna get a, a, a you know a butt whooping i almost said you know that word that they don't like us to say here on youtube oh ass whooping but uh <laughs> somebody was finna get hey trying to get monetized over here oh i'm sorry <laughs> uh no one has so, a button to speak um, of Oh, uh, Sovereign Knight says 118 scale is, is what uh, he rocks. Oh, for his car collection. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, these dinosaurs could stomp your car collection, my friend, because they they are freaking huge. And I wouldn't recommend doing that with them, though, because, again, they are really hefty. But back to the story. So, you know, I'm going, why are you, you know, what is he? And he says, so your wife said to come get your wallet and for you not to ask any questions. You weren't supposed to repeat that. Part. So, you know, that's um, sometimes that's not a good thing. <laughs> yeah. You didn't know, but, but you didn't know case, it was for you. You did, you thought it was something she was getting. I didn't, I didn't know. I had no clue what was going on. Cause she was trying to over I, there talking about, give me your wallet. She was there cleaning that table stuff. She's like, I want that so, to know. <laughs> Not quite. So after 23 years of marriage, she was able to surprise me with something. And I looked at this piece several, several times. And I just, I, I was going to pass on it. Like me, you see it. And not because the it. piece isn't amazing, but some other factors. And again, this thing is heavy. So she surprised me Ooh. with this. The Beast of the Mesozoic, like one to nice. eighteen scale, Tyrannosaurus Rex, and I mean this guy is—he's big. Does his mouth articulate? And, and here's, you know, this is how big he is. This is six inch figure. Okay, have Nick Fury fight him. <laughs> <laughs> so, and again, you know, maybe his tongue's still in there. His tongue's still in there. So. It, it is, you can move the tongue. I don't know if y'all can see that. Wow, that's cool. Like he's yelling or whatever. So, <laughs> and the, again, the paint apps on this thing are, are great. It's, and, and when I say it's a solid piece, it's a solid piece. It comes also with some alternate legs. These are like the display legs, but you can swap them out right here at the drumstick. Mm -hmm. And, um, put in the more articulated legs for posing and and stuff like that. So that's my Joe Fest haul. And while we were there, I handed out, you know, maybe 15, 20 uh, of my channel cards. And I picked up a bunch of cards. And some of these guys I want to hit up... Um, because they had some really, really cool stuff. So if y'all are looking for that Beast of the Mesozoic, here's creative-beast.com. And Spiro had, had a pretty good conversation with, with this fellow. Although his... He, he was selling 3D printed stuff that that he made, but it was for 1 to 18 scale stuff. So not really in my wheelhouse, right. but nevertheless, a really nice guy. And then I don't know who the heck this guy is. 
Some dude. All you want to do is talk about podcasting. Film, TV, and tech. That's yeah. where we are. If y'all want to check, if y'all want to check him out, here is a QR code that you can scan. Oh yeah, and he. So whoever this guy is, he would love if you'd subscribe to his YouTube channel. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Please. And then here's Prometheus, and I can't remember what they had. Two totally awesome dudes. It says. So I, can't, I can't remember what they were doing. Um, then this guy, he was he was uh, selling 3D printed GI Joe classified weapons that he had designed, and he was pretty nice fella too. And if y'all, there's a QR code, and a, I don't know what that is, Instagram thing. So if y'all want to scan that and check his stuff out, there's that. And then I I cannot remember I cannot remember what I was talking with this guy about. I think he was in that back corner table. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is is that where this one was in that back? That back corner t- or the front corner table. Front, I think it was like the all the way in corner, the yeah. end. Yeah. So that was a very nice gentleman too. Is that? Is and that, then is that the one in that corner we were talking to for the longest? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Day, yeah. Over, yeah. Over uh, where they had Jabba sail barge. Yeah. yeah. In the box. It, yeah. Very nice gentleman. Very nice gentleman. And then um, the last card I have here is this so that looks pretty cool right yeah now imagine that with zombies (laughs) that's true this guy this guy his stuff was awesome 3d sculptor and designer oh yeah and and there there's his information and he had like uh zombie heads that were like from from bullets you know where there was just a bloody mess left, uh, and do, do you think space you could, zombies? You that's could tag them later in the video or something, or or put their um, links in the video. Maybe. Okay. Uh, if I remember to do that, yes. <laughs> so, um, my overall impression of the show was really, really good, and. I'm I'm sad to say I didn't make it to any of the panels. Yeah, we, we didn't make we it didn't. to any of the panels. The floor was so overwhelming to me. And now next time I'll I, maybe I'll be prepared for it a little more. Yeah. And um because I plan on going back to this show. It was a really good show. And everybody there was super nice. Yeah, it was my first con I've been to. And this is the first con I've been in in um, since like maybe ninety two. Wow. And that one was just a little rinky dink little yeah. back room thing on Jekyll Island, Georgia, and Jekyll. it was supposed to be a Star Trek convention, but mostly yeah. what they had in there was it was basically just a dealer's room with comic books. <laughs> so well, you know, you that was a Star Trek convention in ninety two, folks. Hmm. Uh, at least uh, you know in in this area. And so it it was very the floor was very over, overwhelming, it, it and I mean it, it had even spilled out into you know the hallway before you even get into the show. Right. And we met and talked to Dan Larson from Secret Galaxy and Toy Galaxy, and we saw we talked to Pixel Dan. And I'm sure all of you guys know who Pixel Dan is. Um, they were, and then they were we saw, there. yeah, yeah. This is before you even got in to the floor, and there was a bunch of like displays and stuff for sale. Um, the guy that had all the 3D printed stuff out there, uh, he was a really nice guy too. And I don't think I got one of his cards. Yeah, there was there was a um, well. I'll talk. I'll talk about that later. I'll, I'll so let you finish. Um. 
and uh, who else? Oh, we didn't we didn't talk to him, but we saw um, JC from TNI News. He was there filming, and he was busy, so I didn't want to bother him uh, while he was filming. Um, some other folks that we ran into were. I had a chance encounter, I guess you might call it, with Sergeant Slaughter. And Ed actually snuck a picture of it. I didn't know he was doing it, but I talked to Sergeant Slaughter, you know. You, just you, you, basically it was how you doing, you having a good show, and he was really nice. Yeah. I didn't want to bother him too much because you know, I knew he was headed to his break because his his uh I I don't know what else to call it other than his handler, maybe. Um, hey, um had had food, but yes, go ahead. Raz wants to know if you want him to join. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But, Let me. Uh, yeah, while you're doing that, I'll tell you, I'll tell the story real quick. So, uh, Digital Caveman was trying to get some water from the water fountain, and, and me and Digital Cave Queen were behind him, and we're like, po- and I'm like pointing, and he doesn't see me, and I was like, Sergeant Slaughter walked right by him, going to the elevator to go up to the panel room, and I was like, and I went up there and tapped him. Show was like, look, look, <laughs> you know, without being too conspicuous, and he was right there, and that's when. I got a picture of that, so um, I've got a whole picture slideshow that I'm be showing here. Um, oh, did it finally render? No, it didn't. I had to give up. No, it still hadn't rendered. Okay. So I, I've, I think I'm gonna. What I'm gonna try to do. I've never done this. I'm gonna try to share my screen, and I've got it pulled up in the pictures. Unfortunately, I took only 206 photos, <laughs> so they they were in order in the folder. But I started renaming about 60 of them, and then that's as far as I got. So. They may be out of order between the two days, so it's going to be a mosh posh when it comes across. So I'm sorry about that, but is Raz Raz coming then? Uh, I'm sending him the link now. Oh, okay, cool beans. Um, and that's uh, from. All right, there we go. That's done. All right, Raz, I sent you the link in, on your Instagram. So the, you know, I basically, you know, I, again, I didn't want to bother him too much because I saw his his, his uh, handler I, uh, again. I guess that's what it was was holding holding you know several cartons of food. So I, I'm guessing that he was going on his lunch break because it was about that time, and so I didn't want to bother him too much. I, you know, hey, how you guys doing? And he said, hey, fine, you know. And uh, I asked him if he's having a good show. He said, yes, having a great show, and this is a really fun show, and. It was. Uh, it was a really fun show. And uh, let's see. The other couple of encounters we had ran into Mega J Retro as he was coming out of a panel, I think. And he was working one of the tables there, and I can't remember which one he said it was. But so ran, in, ran into him, ran into Emerald Night Photos, from geeked out click so if you're not in that discord and you're interested in toy photography i'm having a hard time with my droid cam give me a sec because right now i'm with my my regular usb shit camera and oh your like b cam <laughs> now this yeah i'm just trying to get it working hold on uh hey caveman i try to um i try to send um uh, i don't know if this is how it's uh, on the chat it says raz check your link on instagram i'd sent that and it said this comment has failed to post to digital caveman so maybe you can't mention oh. instagram on here i don't know <laughs> maybe because you know how instagram is about youtube Jeez. Yeah. you know they don't they don't like youtube links and stuff Give me just a second, it's a fellas. Digital, digital cave queen calling. <laughs> so, as as Raz is getting, um, oh yeah, I don't know. I, I'm here, but it just I can't uh, get my uh, my phone cam to work, and I don't. I'll reboot it. If you have to go back, one time, you know, it's whatever you need to do. <laughs> Yeah, I came in at the right time, though. I wanted to talk about Captain Power because I'm I'm in a Captain Power group. 
Okay. On uh, Facebook and okay, I guys, you, y'all keep it going. I got an emergency going on, and okay. I will be back. Sure. Oh, in, well, hopefully a few minutes. All right. No problem. Yeah. So, how are you doing, Ed? Oh gosh, uh, my car decided to just die this week, and <laughs> it's in the shop. It's been hell. <laughs> okay. It's been one of those weeks. I'm like, I'm just taking it in stride. I'm like, um. <laughs> Uh, just everything that's going on is going on. Oh, oh, by the way, I've got about 206 photos I took, and I tried to render it to a video, and it just wouldn't do it. All right. So I may be sharing my screen, and I, I did have them in order, but I started renaming them to make it a little easier because you know how they give those generic names. and Yeah, yeah. And so it, they may be out of sync of when they actually happen, so I don't know. It's like I had them straight in the folder, and then I tried to upload them, and it just jumbled them all around, and I couldn't figure it out. So, yeah, that's what's up. What's it up happened. with you? I, well, I, my phone's acting up, and then <laughs> my uh, I have to change because my charger is not working properly. Okay. So that's super annoying. And um, but besides that, not much. I'm uh, I got my passport fixed, like not fixed, but uh, I've obtained it. So now I'm going to be going to TF Con or uh, Baltimore. Oh, that's and ba- when is that? November 1st. Well, I'm going to be, it's November 1st through the 3rd. So yeah, all, looking forward to going there. Sometime need to find a central location where we can meet up. <laughs> that would be cool. Where are you guys at? Oh, I'm down, I'm, I'm down in Augusta, Georgia. He's down in um, uh, farther south. He's in, I don't know if he wants me to tell, but he's in Valdosta, Georgia. Okay, how far are you from, let's say, Baltimore? Uh, I don't know. I know I'm two hours from Atlanta, <laughs> if that helps. So. <laughs> no, well, I, I don't know the U.S. that much. So. Okay, let me see. Baltimore. Yeah, Baltimore. That sounds like I got to pay for a, a plane ticket. <laughs> let's see. Um, let's find out. I'm going to find out exactly. So let's see. I'm going to Baltimore. How far away is that? Baltimore, Maryland. That is. Wow. Oh, there you go. Let's see. Yeah. I got my good camera on now. Hold on. Can't I'm going to set her up. Can't apply the sun. Oh, I got my bad hair. T- Man, I just came back from a friend's house. So, uh, let me switch camera. Nice. Cannot ah, there. some options. Why? My phone won't take me to Baltimore. <laughs> I could look it up on the computer here. I'm, I'm curious. I, I want to uh, I'm gonna go Google Map. What else I'm trying to do? I'm trying to Google on my phone, but it just don't want to Google. Let's see. Okay. That's so e- okay. So you're fr- yeah. Where are you at? Uh, I'm in Augusta, Georgia. We're both in Georgia. So Baltimore, Baltimore, Maryland. All right, boom. That is, that's fine. All right. I don't want to go. Augusta, Georgia. That's weird. It's not taking me. U.S. You are. Oh, you actually, Wow. I'm about five hours, out four, five, eight hours. I don't know. You're nine hours and forty two minutes. Oh dear God in heaven! Yeah, that's see, a, that's a bit of. So we're, we're never gonna meet by car because I'm <laughs> I'm actually driving nine hours oh, to wow. get to Baltimore. Well, then that would be that we'd be meeting halfway, right? <laughs> yeah, Baltimore is going to be the halfway point. So it's eight hours and twenty minutes that I'm going to drive. I'm actually driving from all the all the way. Oh, I was going to uh, say you're going to do it straight. You're not going to take any, maybe stop uh, road stop here or there, but yeah, I'm going to go for you know a break and fuel up. So every four hour I'll stop for gas and I should be okay. Uh, but uh yeah i mean i mean i'm nervous you know canadian plate and u.s ground i don't know how that's gonna go and um then all the way to you know baltimore Mm -hmm. and the one thing i'm i'm setting money aside uh 
you know, get it, be able to enjoy the, uh, the showroom and the, you know, but I'm just going there. Like I'm going to get there on the first and cause I, my room situation is taken care of. Good, good. Uh, I'm splitting a room with three other fellow. And uh, so that's going to be a save money. <laughs> Exactly. Didn't have a choice. I like because I couldn't go. But uh, there's a lot of people I want to meet that I hang out with on YouTube, and a lot of people that I've been watching for like five years that are going to be there. And you know, they all asked me if I was going to make it this year. And so with uh, a lot of uh, well peer pressure, if you will, <laughs> uh, I decided to give it a shot, try to make it, and uh, now it's happening. So now I got the passport done. And I'm right. saving money to, to go, and uh, hopefully, I don't know if I'll be able to do that every year. But Well, this was my first con that I've ever been to, so I've never been to one. And, and as a chance to, you know, K-Man came down, spent the weekend, and then we, and since it's here in my hometown, it was in Augusta, in my hometown, my current hometown, um, it was just really cool to go. And so me and the digital uh, cave queen and him uh, went. Uh, that what we didn't go Friday. They came in Friday, so we went all day Saturday, and then pretty much all day Sunday there. And uh, it was it was fun. It was you know even though with my channel it, I do film, TV, and text was not really my thing. It was more his thing. But I really wanted to go, and uh, I really had a great time. And okay. there's a lot. Um, he'll have to tell you. I can't remember the name. I had a. I don't. I should have prepared better for this stream because I had the different cards from the different vendors and and all that. Um, but um, there's a a line of um, action figures that we were just talking about. I think it was Legion. Uh, I can't. Mythic Legion. That, that that I really thought was very interesting and and. Uh, they are. Yeah. They have some good stuff with uh, Mythic Legion. Yeah. Um, I'm yeah. trying to stay away from them because I know that's going to be a, a money pit. But, uh, yeah, Mythic Legion. Um, I don't know if you guys heard of um, Animal Warriors of the Kingdom. I have not. Caveman may have, but. Um, it's a line by a guy called Jason Bienvenu. Uh, he's, I don't know where he's from. Uh, and um, basically one of my YouTube friend, Kato, uh, fell into that rabbit hole so it's a kickstarter project um and now they, they did a kickstarter for their series one and then they just finished another kickstarter for series two and uh, so i'm getting into that but if you like like good quality action figure um uh, animal warriors of the kingdom is something i would recommend uh, um what was i gonna say I, I met I met a famous person there. And I, Who? Seth Green. Oh, oh, that's that's cool. My, what was he doing there? Yeah, I don't. He actually spoke at some of the panels, but we didn't go to any of the panels. We just, you know, we were so much to do on the floor and all that. We were just, I don't even think in two days we really got to see everything we wanted to. See. We did, but you know, in depth, you know, if you went to all the different th panels, and then maybe next time we will. But um. He was really he was really cool. He's shorter than you would think. I, I didn't realize he was a, a short. I dude. I think he was short. Yeah, I I think he's he'll be as short as I think he always was. And I always think I'm a clever guy. So when I walked up to him, I had my phone ready because what happened? I literally passed some guys and they go, "Dude, that's Seth Green." And I'm like, I turned my head around and I was like, and he literally walked past me. I wouldn't have known him from anybody else. I mean, he had a baseball cap on and you know this and that. And he was with this really tall dude, probably his handler or, you know, bodyguard or whatever, you know, could have crunched me into a, a, a can if you yeah, wanted yeah. to. But um, it's so I, I turned around and I've texted. Um, I think I shot some video, which I've got uh, some video and some still photos. I'm going to show if it, if everything works out on this stream, I'm going to show them when caveman gets back and, and, and one of them's, uh, you know, where he was and came in was like, okay, I'm over here by such and such booth. And then he came around and um, anyway, I, you know how you want it when you go up to somebody, you want to say something clever and funny. I was going to make a Scott evil joke or something, but then I, rehe I was rehearsing in my head as I was walking towards him and a line was starting to form and people realized it was him. 
And then I had my phone out and it was like right here in my hand. And then he turns around and, it, and all of a sudden I just froze. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, and he just looks me over and he goes, and he reaches up and grabs my phone at my hand. He said, let's take a selfie. And, and I was like, oh, I'm sorry. I guess I'm starstruck. <laughs> and so we took a really cool selfie. And, and, and then I said, I said, I, I don't know if you're, I said, I have a podcast. And I said, I, I could hear myself how stupid I sounded, you know, in my head. I was like, I said, I don't know if you do podcasts, but, you know, maybe, maybe you might be interested. And he's like, well, I don't usually do it. He said, but I'll check you out. And he took my card and, you know, he could have just been, you know, Josh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Josh and with me, but he was very nice about it. You know, some celebrities they must get tons of, I'm you sure know, he gets millions of them. And he was going around later on to the different booths and, and he was back there with different people talking and everybody was snapping a photo with them. And he was, just, he was very nice. So, you know, that's pretty, I was cool. captain power. Cause I, I'm on a captain power Facebook group uh, and he mentioned that this was like his first convention in a very long time. Cause now he's like a real estate agent or a financial advisor of some shit. I do remember, so. I do remember going by, um, his um thing but uh maybe caveman can remember maybe caveman can remember a little bit better captain power are you back caveman oh yes i'm back we're i had to unmute my mic okay we were talking about captain power yeah talk he, to me about captain power yeah, he there was a guy there who played somebody on captain power i don't know it, it was captain power because <laughs> i'm on a I facebook never... group i'm on a facebook group and he he keeps commenting to stop asking him to, you know, for stuff. Cause like, yeah, on Facebook is a lot of people are messaging him and stuff. So yeah. he set up an email address. If you want to ask question, you can send it to that email address. Oh, so nice. he keeps posting that, but he was saying that it was his first convention since, uh, for a, you know, since a very long time. So, and I kind of wish I could have gone to, to see captain power. Cause Back then, that was a show I watched religiously. I loved Captain Power. So, unfortunately, the closest I ever came to a Captain Power watching it on TV was the ads in comic books. That right. was it. They did not air it. No, air. We bad. had we had basically we had four channels. We had no cable. We had, we had no channels. satellite. We had ABC, CBS, and NBC, NBC, and PBS. You're right. We had that PBS. was it. <laughs> yeah. And PBS. Was no, we, I had the French well. translation. So. Yeah. So yeah. Did you run into Cato? Oh, okay. I don't know. Do you know Cato? No, I asked him before we went down there um, if he was going to the show, and he said he wasn't going this year. So. Ah, uh, okay. Too bad. Yeah, that's what I said. I said, "Darn it." <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm hopefully gonna see him at TFCon. Baltimore uh, on in November. So Sovereign. yeah, he generally, he generally goes to that. Of course, he generally goes to Joe Fest too, or at least the last couple of years. Yeah, he did. Cause he, he, he went and I think last year he was actually helping at the boot uh, for animal warriors, warriors of, of the animal kingdom. kingdom. Yeah. Or animal warriors of the kingdom. Yeah. Are you into that line? No, I looked at their booth while I was there. And I'm I'm really thinking about kicking the tires on it and and seeing if I like it. But I just recently kicked the tires on Mythic Legions. Yeah, which is a it's too expensive oh, for me. Uh, but because um, I, I, I like it because basically I'm not a collector of Animal Warriors of the Kingdom, but I told Kato that if they ever do a Minotaur, I was going to buy it. Oh, and Legion now they have a... Car. They have a chief Brutox who's a Minotaur, so I backed it. So I'm gonna get that. Like he, he's more of a um, like buffalo head, you know, with the big yeah, horn. Yeah. But he's not like an actual Minotaur. But it's hard no. to find a good because I love Minotaurs from Dungeons and Dragons. Look, so I don't, I don't know if you saw the first of the show or not. No, I while well, I was driving, so I kind of uh, oh, this is the Mythic Legions. Um, Ogre class, Arachagor. No, so, that's not a Minotaur. You have like, no, he's not a Minotaur, but they have a Minotaur. Yeah. How much did size. you pay for that? Like, what's the retail on that? Uh, the retail on it was 75 bucks, and it was a little cheaper 
at the booth. They the the stuff was a little cheaper at the booth than really? what it normally runs. And I think what they Maybe were like doing like hundred Canadian. I think what they were doing was like on the website when they do the the pre orders for it. If you order the entire wave, then you get a bit of a discount. Or even if you even the individual ones. If it's four horsemen, it, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's four horsemen. Um, and if you pre order them, you get a little bit of a discount on them. And I think they were selling it for that price at the booth because because um, I, least, cause I did look for what well, wow, oh, there's no shopping on their site. Come on, not on that one. You got to go to storehorseman.com. That's dumb. <laughs> Four horsemen. And they also have uh, sourcehorseman.com. And mythiclegions.com. So, so is Anthony, what uh, did you came in? Um, the, um, <laughs> Beep. whoever, um, four horsemen, which was the one I liked? Four horsemen, or four horsemen, that's four horsemen. Yeah, the okay. mythic legion stuff is what you like. I was like blown and, away, very impressed by it. The articulation, I, the the just the the artistry that goes into it. And, and I picked up this, uh, the monkey king from last year to. Figura Obscura. Oh, Monkey King. And this is, I mean, this figure is is cool. He's not as cool as that Arachagor, but he's pretty damn cool. I can't find it. I can't shop it. Um, I think if you go to mythiclegions.com and you scroll down on that homepage, there's a link to it. Uh, where can I buy a store horseman? Nope. Is it? Uh, oh, you can buy gift cards. That's it's, dumb. It's it's oh, it's not Mythic Legends. Mythic Legends. Well, their pre-orders, their pre-orders for the newest wave just ended Sunday night, so they may not have anything in there right now. Yeah, because I know there was AliExpress or. Uh, they had uh, the Minotaurs, but they were like super, super expensive. So, but yeah, I'm going to be happy with that because uh, uh, AWOC's uh, Minotaur Chief uh, Brutox was uh, um, 45 US, so it's not that bad. Caveman. Uh, I found yeah. um, sourcehorseman.com slash mythic. Okay, here it legends. is. Is that the yeah, but you can't can... shop it because when you click shop, it brings you to the. Let's see. Oh wait, I don't know the pre-order is closed, and then you can shop now, but you can get gift cards. Yeah, I just saw that. Yeah. Stay yeah. Okay. For... I put I put the link in the thing. That's probably where you were just at. Let's see. Let me. Let me yeah. See can... <clears throat> Hold a sec. Let me see. Let me. What did I do? Too bad. Yeah, I wish they would just list figures and closed. Maybe on that. Now, if you go to. Here. mythiclegions.com it has go. a list of all the figures can y'all see that on the screen there yep is it sharing it because uh. oh. that's they, they do have some good uh now i'll i'll i ebayed some of this stuff I, I made the mistake of going down the rabbit hole yes yeah, some of the older stuff is really really expensive but I don't, do I don't a really lot of want to skeletons get and too deep into this line, but good lord, the more I look at it, dude, they have dwarves. Hey, hey, caveman, That's, can y'all see they on have the screen dwarves. there? They have ogres. Caveman, is it uh, allowing me to share it? It's showing it. Oh, I, hang on. Okay. There we go. Okay. Yeah, but you That's can't shop there. It's only you to buy see, gift cards. Yeah, yeah. It's the pre order is closed. It closed out Sunday night at like uh, 11 p.m. You can give. Oh, them there you go. Them. Here's the Minotaur. Okay. Yes. They have. Uh, there you go for my birthday. Uh-oh. Ed. <laughs> oh. I'll take gift cards. You take gift cards. Good. I'm taking yeah. Disney gift cards because I'll never afford to go there. <laughs> no, I'm just a big fan of Minotaurs. So. Production updates. Oh, you want to hear about production updates? Let's see. Here's the release status. Does that help? These guys are awesome right here. The Cosmic Legions, Outpost Zexus. Yeah, I mean, this is... 
Yeah, they have the checklist of everything that they release. That's pretty cool. And and it's everything. Yeah. It's just so, and how you can interchange the heads are really awesome. And it's it's cool because on here you can go on here, you can go to the 101, you can get the the lore, the factions and the characters, the waves, uh there's a map, the art like that they use on the packaging. Um, then there's the checklist what has all of the general releases. I think it doesn't have like some of the con exclusives and stuff like that. I don't think it's included in that checklist because I saw some stuff on eBay that was saying it was um, con exclusive stuff that was not listed in the checklist. So, hey, that's the thing that these and it even has the pronunciations of the names. Oh my God. That's awesome. Cause some of these same names yeah, are hard. I literally <laughs> talked to the guy. I said, you know, how I said, if y'all, if you had a movie or a comic or something or story to bring this together, he said, well, we've done it a little, the designers have done it backwards. Or, well, their way is they're building the figures and building the groundswell. Then, you know, it'll lead up to something bigger. And I, 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 I think that's a pretty good way to go. Yeah. Um, I do. Let me share this real quick. I want y'all to see. Oh wow! Sovereign Knight's looking for a uh, Diamond Select Enterprise. He's talking about expensive stuff. He says it's going for three hundred plus bucks. That's a lot of money. Okay. Yes. Can you share this on there? Okay, there we go. Um, it says on here the best way to get it is uh, from StoreHorseman.com. While these pre-orders can take anywhere from six to eighteen months from pre to delivery. Yeah. You will always pay the lowest price possible by supporting. And but the pre-order. thing about it, the thing about pre-orders through them yeah. is they charge you for it up front. Right, and they say you are guaranteed to get any figures ordered during this period, and there are no limits on the number of figures you can purchase. Once the wave has arrived at the warehouse and all pre-orders have been filled, we offer in-stock sales on those figures. These sales are known to be quite hectic since the stock for sale is limited and the demand is usually very high. We often limit the amount of any given character that can be ordered at one time during these sales, but stock still sells extremely quickly and there are no guarantees that the figure that you want will be included in the sale or will be in stock, which is fine. And they have a checklist. Or is that where you looked at the checklist? Yeah, the, the checklist there. I, I mean, that. it's got... A lot of stuff. I mean, there's a ton of stuff. I looked at that all weekend. Yeah. Just they even have taking the deep dive. Share this tab instead. There's the there's the um the printer friendly version of it. And I like I like that it's not just a checklist, but they give a picture so you know right. yeah. what That's, it is, you know. Not every company does that. That's pretty cool. And you can click on those things and it'll take you to that character's page where if they have a bio it's in there and it tells you like what faction they're with. And yeah. I mean, it's, it's pretty detailed yeah. for them not to have, you know, a cartoon or, that's, or a comic book or a book even, you that's know, interesting on this one, the Archaeopteryx. I don't know if you can see right there, the avian warrior. Yeah. I once had to do, um, a report in in grade school, uh, and I remember that name because I had to memorize it. So that's so cool to see that. Yeah. So they they take from like mythical stuff. There's a Azarak, the human sorcerer, released in Prox Proxus, P R P O X S. He's pretty cool. I mean, they're big figures too, so yeah. it's kind of well, hard to play Dungeons and Dragons with. But they're um, you know. Oh, I thought the other one. Okay, so they had the big, the big one you showed earlier. That's yeah, the like big the one. Yeah, he's he's like an oversized. Okay. Figure now this one, and you know, I I know you watch some of my Marvel Legends stuff, Raz, yeah, and I'm always all. complaining about you know how they the big plastic candy cone capes and and yeah, they yeah. need to go to to wired soft goods. Every bit of soft goods on this figure is wired. This this little cape piece in the that's front cool. this piece in the i mean it's all wired yeah um, oh that's a, a good way to hey sovereign, good way to sovereign, sovereign knight has a comment he says speaking of expensive stuff i can't even get my hands on a diamond select enterprise e i mean they are going for like 300 plus yeah that's crazy yeah those wow. diamond those um diamond select ships 
Enterprises. I have two stuff. figures. They go. I have they actually go right through. there. You can't see it, but I have a juggernaut and a better ray bill. Oh, and that juggernaut is chunky too. It's a, by, it's a diamond select is not posable at all. Like it's just, it's, 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 it's pretty, there's a lot of articulation, but it's so tight and clumsy. But I, I have two diamond select figures. One's a Dr. Doom that I bought over a decade ago, probably. And then recently I picked up the titanium man because he's just so huge and he's always so big in the comics when he's fighting Iron Man. Yeah. And so I picked that one up and I I like it. You know, it, it, the range of movement on it is a little bit limited. Better Ray Bill is the way it's designed and and just the articulation schemes that they go with, you know, they're still working on 10 year old articulation scheme, kind of like Star Wars, the black series for the most part, you know, they've got hinge and swivel in the elbows instead of double elbows. But I think they make that decision consciously because they're more about the aesthetics of it rather than yeah. the range of movement. I mean, I'm able to make it stand. So that's all I need. But, hey guys, I just wanted to pop in because I do work tomorrow morning and it's 11 PM. So I'm going to have to go. Well, I, I miss wishing you a happy Canada day. So, Oh yeah. Happy Canada day. <laughs> Thank you guys. Uh, in, in two days, I'll wish you, I'll return you the, the the happy yes. USA Day, whatever you call it, Fourth yeah. of July. The Fourth of July, yes. <laughs> All right. Well, you take care, guys. All right. Thank you for stopping by, my friend. Sorry, I, I didn't. I wasn't on there. My mic. <laughs> I'm steady talking. I was like, good to see you, Raz. <laughs> um, I was gonna say, Raz, if you want to, we do. You want to do the um, go through the pictures here that we took. Um, let me, let me pull up mine because it's just a few of them. I only got about okay, four okay. to, to go through. Um, I always take too many. <laughs> I had like 11,000 pictures that I took. Uh, oh gosh. Digital cave queen has jumped on. She said mythic legion legions is a really nice line of figures. I agree. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, we, we have, I agree too. <laughs> if, if, Unfortunately, I didn't have any money. So if, uh, next time I go there, uh, you know, I have some money. I might, I might pick up some of the figures. Um, I did like the sorcerer with the purple. He's he's really cool. And uh, I just like how they 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 mix different genres of stuff. And like you can you can take the figures what's unique, and um, you can take their heads and you know. Okay, here here's here's my little bit of uh, stuff. This is where I was talking to Sergeant Slaughter. And Ed got the pictures of it. Sweet. And then there was two of those. And then here I am with Coco. Oh. And I don't know if that was for sale or not. Can but you pull it up full screen on there? Like click on it and then is it, scroll oh, through it? Hang yeah, on. It's just weird clicking. Oh, did it? Okay. I thought it, I thought it did, but it didn't. Yeah. Okay, let me try this again. Yeah. And of course, it won't show it. Let's see, window. There we go. Yeah, it's, it's like you got to find which window you're sharing. Okay, how's that? Is that better? Uh, that's perfect. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Yeah, that works. So there I am with Coco. So let me back it up. So there I am talking to Sergeant Slaughter. Yeah, he's telling me he's having a fun show. Was, was that guy his with lunch. Him? Oh, that was his lunch. That's his hand. Or his yeah, hand. that's his lunch right there. The the look. That's so funny. That look there. You're just like looking like, should I talk to him? <laughs> Is it safe to talk? Well, you know, I I knew he was going on his right. break, and I I, I I didn't want to be bothersome because I know working you know working at Walmart when you're trying to go on your break and people are like, can you help me with so and so? No, I'm going on my damn break. <laughs> And then there is me and Digital Cave Queen, and we ran into Seth Green. Oh, cool! So that I, was pretty I didn't cool. See that picture, that is a very good picture. At least y'all get a cooler picture than I did. I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there. That was that was mine. So we can go through. All right, I'm gonna. 
let's see how this works. Okay, present, share screen, share screen. Make sure make sure you make the the you know click on the picture and make it bigger first. Right, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, I've got them in here. I've got them in here. And then then present it and choose window. Okay. Can you see that now? All right. There we go. All right. I got to be able to see on the other screen. Okay. How do I see what I'm doing? Okay. I have to go to the other. I guess I just have to present. Okay. Yeah. You just present. Okay. So then. I'll make sure it's doing. What if I make this smaller? Does that. Does that. That hasn't affected it. No, it didn't affect it. That didn't affect it at all. Okay. So let me just. So just hit the arrows. It's good. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. I can. Okay. Here. Oh, you know, no, there. no, no, that's fine. That? No, I made it, I made it full screen. So, well, no, no, it's fine. You put, put us back in there or whatever. These are not in particular order. So if there's anything, they're not. And this, this is, this is just all from the floor and right. I was just in awe. There's, um, I didn't get the Yeah, animal warriors of the kingdom, kingdom. the Spiro toys table. And there's a Sarge. There's Slaughter. Sarge. Sarge right there. And there was a line. You'll, you'll notice there'll be probably a lot of pictures. I didn't edit any of these pictures, so they're probably pretty. Now, cool. I will say on Sunday, Sunday, the line was a lot shorter. Right. Saturday was really the big, big day of it. These are the Del Delta figures. Delta, is that Delta? Delta 17. That 17. might have been... That might have been the booth where Mega J Retro and Emerald Knight photos were at, although I never saw them there when we went by there. Okay. So I don't know if maybe I was just missing them or I wasn't paying that close of attention or what. I don't know. All right. Um, and then there's Captain Planet right down right there here. in the corner. Oh, yeah, no. not that guy. The next one over. Oh, this guy right there with the gray Yeah, I think, that, I think that's the Captain Planet right there. I remember walking by there because um, I, I kept saying – I kept thinking – What's the ones where they were fighting for the Earth in the '90s? Captain Planet. <laughs> I keep, <laughs> I kept confusing him. Oh, and look there. And then uh, Cave Queen says, "Joe Fest was so awesome. I'm ready to go to another one. I'm ready to go back next year." I am too. I'm ready to go. Yeah, if there's another one. And there you are with you. Y'all were looking at it, and then <laughs> yeah, that's one up. of the, one of the like a thousand times we went by there and looked at that. Right. And all that. So. These may not, I've, I've, these are all raw photos, so they're not edited nicely at all. <laughs> okay, that guy, the, the big guy man. there with the, the beard and the black shirt, that was the the, um, the Creative Beast Studio, the head of the studio. Um, crud, what was his name? I got it here on his oh, card this somewhere. This guy right here? Oh. Yeah, that guy right there. Um, that's David Silva. Hmm, okay. And, and Designer, was sculptor, and owner. I was actually trying to get this guy with the proton working proton pack right there. It's pretty cool. <laughs> I saw yes. a, a girl walking. Thankfully, around I did too. not see. I didn't see any ghosts while <laughs> I was there. So yeah, that's a zoom in I did. My phone did of him. He was quite a ways down the way there. Uh, these are kind of cool. The uh, some of these these are GI Joe. Yeah, those are those are um, the Fortnite motorboat that's they've been repainted as gi joe vehicles oh i can is that is that zooming in on there yeah it's zooming in okay that, i didn't know i could do that yeah tiger force right there. which i've got one i've got one of those boats and i'm planning to do a repaint on it too so yeah <laughs> maybe i'll eventually get to that those are pretty cool um and then there's more I was just I was I just started taking pictures of everything. So, oh, I, I knew that I knew that my 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 um, cave, uh, my cave queen would uh, appreciate the Princess Bride figures here. Oh, she likes Princess Bride. Oh yeah, yeah. I finally watched it like last year. I'd never seen it. I was like, this is a really dumb movie, but I enjoyed it. Oh, cave but, queen, I already showed off what what I, I my Joe Fest haul. Yeah, he he gave big props to the. Uh, digital <clears throat> queen for surprising him uh, with his uh, dinosaur. So there's another close up of those. I know some. Those are like from the Flash movie, the Batwing. There, I didn't look at it. Yeah, that's the Batwing, the McFarlane Toys Batwing, yeah. and the 
I don't know which Batmobile that was. Well, there it's was, got Flash on there. So I see. think okay, so that was that was the the one from the Flash, and basically the only difference between the two was the the Batman figure that came in it. One came more decoed eighty nine, and one right. came more decoed as the Flash, the version from the Flash movie. Now this is a, a Flash Gordon figure, but this is the Oscar Goldman six million dollar man. <laughs> yeah, I know you were drooling over those. I was, and you and can't see it. Million dollar this man little figures. purple guy. I think I got a close up of him next. I had that toy. I don't even know what it is. Yeah, he's the interplanetary starroid. He's a hemorrhoid. So, yeah, <laughs> interplanetary hemorrhoid. It was two dollars. I market. can't even see what that dude is. He's got like a clear, a, a kind of opaque purple head, and it, you can squeeze it. And he's got like a purple jumpsuit and black boots. He's on. fully jointed. What does that mean? It means he's got some joints. Oh, yeah, I think his finger. And I, I'm, hands by joints, were... I'm not talking about illegal <laughs> narcotics. <laughs> this guy was. This wasn't the. Or was this the good one? This one might have been eighty bucks. The six million dollar man. And it was no, actually, this was the one that didn't have the patch there, and so this one was cheaper. I forgot the price of it, but it had the shoes on it, and it used to come with this long, you know, those, um, the things you would. Yeah, lift, it used to. It used to that. have like swappable parts, didn't it? It did. What, what, that thing. What do you call those beams? Steel beams that you could pick up. You know, the, an eye beam. I guess so. You know, it looks like a shaped like an eye. Is it shaped? I guess it's shaped like an eye, but it's kind of like got two ends like this, and then you know, a, 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 like that. And then it's got a, a yeah, I, that's an eye but beam. With, but with his bionic arm there, you'd push this button in his back, and he and it would lift it like you're lifting it up. Yeah. There. And the other thing that the other action figure that I saw over there had was a it's like a mini atomic bomb something. I don't know. I think it was an atomic power cell for his bionics, which was never in the show that I remember, but it was just something. And then here's one, a uh, Knight Rider. This is a Knight Rider 2000 kit computer. No, that's a Knight 2000. Knight 2000, excuse me. Voice Not Knight Rider 2000. Remember, that car was red. You're right. Oh, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and if I, if I remember correctly, wasn't it a Dodge Viper? Oh my God! He says it's seven hundred dollars. I didn't realize that. Does it say that? Yeah. See, it says nineteen eighty-three. Oh crap! 9, it does say that. Are you says that's seven zero? No, seven. that might say two hundred. Is that two hundred? Well, let's see. It might be two. I think that's two hundred. Yeah, it's two hundred. Are you sure? Yeah, that seven hundred like is seven, crazy dude. for that. It works. But if was, he's charging seven hundred for that, that's it's crazy. gonna be sitting on his shelf for a long time. I think. And it was nine ninety seven at Kmart back then. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I love it when they leave those original uh -oh, price happened? tags on them. Something happened. I lost it. Oh, that was a Super Seven booth. Oh. Well, I saw this one. Here's the. Yeah, go no, nah, go back to the Super Seven oh booth. God, I want to talk. About, I want to talk about that for a minute. Okay, hold on. I'm getting there. That's next. Inspector Gadget. This one. Oh. Yeah, that one. All right. Now, while Super 7 had a really cool setup and booth and display, I didn't, the only things I saw him selling at the show were posters. I didn't see him selling any figures. Really? It was all scan, scan to buy it on the website. Oh. Maybe. Now some of that stuff on the table, we didn't go. We didn't go over there very early. Right. Well, maybe. So maybe, maybe some of that. Maybe, maybe posters had, was all they had left by the time we got there. That's what I'm saying. Maybe at that point it was a limited supply, so that the safe thing is just go online and get it. And this was just like, okay, if you like it, then go online. Yeah, but they had the posters, and I did like these posters here. You can't tell. They them. they were, but they were kind of seventy five dollars. Yeah, for a poster, I, and that I one's eighty five. Uh, I can't. This Although they were cool. really, really cool posters. This one's like, um, and who is that again? That's, um, That's Cobra Commander. But he was doing the whole. Like on a Napoleon, a Napoleon pose on a stand. horse, you and know. And there's guys in the background. You can't see it here on this photo, but. Oh, that's cool. Sovereign Knight says the Knight 2000 
didn't have electronics, it uses a plastic record to play the sounds. So that's uh, okay. So maybe that thing is seven hundred dollars if it still works. Sealed contents door and Michael Knight instructions box kit hundred percent complete with works. Oh, oh, with no box. with um and it box works. instructions. Yeah. yeah, no Michael Knight included. Oh wait, it does say includes Michael, Michael Knight on the box, yeah. doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it does. So. Interesting. And there's, I just saw that T2. I'm a big T2 fan. But this is, look at the price on that, $100 back in the day. It's like Rock'em Sock'em Robots. It does look like that. It, they both look like Arnold, don't they? <laughs> kind of. That's cool. Inspector Gadget. So then. No here. digital cave queen. Those particular ones that they were selling at the show were not hand drawn. They were copies of stuff that they have hanging in their office. Both of these. That's what sold. they said. These were totally working from Fallout. And they get the full. Oh yeah, support. those were cool. Those, those are very were cool. cool. They, they are. And didn't you say the guy said there was no 3D printed parts on that? He did say that. So these are like actual parts. They actually built this, which is amazing. So and that one of the I think this one sold first, then the gun later on. But that's so cool. And they had an Atari there, an old Atari. I wonder if it worked though. I've got like three of those, and none of them work. That's usually how it works out. Oh, this is pretty cool. This, uh, uh, yeah, they were selling those, um, backdrops, like little diorama backdrops. Yeah. Which are really cool. You know, that's a, and it's, it, I think it came with those stands in the front of them, okay. you know, that the figures are standing on. Yeah. Cause there's different. And it's got a channel in the back where the cardboard fit, you know, slides into. That's pretty cool. Which is cool. I thought they were. I don't know. For <laughs> me, they were. You got a tall Han Solo here. A little. Spock. They were a little high, yeah. to me. But you know, I, you know, it's hard to judge that kind of stuff from these smaller companies or these independent people who are selling it because they put a, a lot more time into designing and making these things than you know a, a major company. That a major right. company it doesn't cost as much to get the tooling done and the sculpting and all that. So these guys were kind of cool. The, the tech technical trauma people. Oops. Sorry. Uh, what did they have? Video. Oh, there's the table next to them. That table, the next, table next to them next was to like, them. don't, don't photograph anything. Don't bump the table. This, these ones. No, it wasn't those, it wasn't those guys. Uh, maybe I didn't photograph anything. Maybe that's all I really. Got yeah, it was, you see that table with the little glass case on it? No, the over to the uh, left. Oh, the other left. Oh. That guy in the red or orange shirt. Oh, right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because they had a, what he had they there. had a sign up that said don't take any pictures, don't bump the table. So I'm like Jesus. <laughs> I'll keep moving along then. <laughs> yeah. And this was uh, Urban Rev Toys. So they had some, what did they have? They had some, what did they have? Okay, they had some diorama pieces. I want to say they had some custom figures too. These look like some, oh, there's, um, why does he look familiar? The guy with the gold case. That's Pimp Daddy Destro. Oh, okay. Is that Blade? No. Yes, like that Blade. is Blade. Okay. Oh, that's a, uh, we saw Blade there as well. You remember that? We did. We did. I may have a picture. I just bumped it with Blade. This was, we also saw Deadpool. Yeah. And there were several folks dressed up like Joes. This is uh, G.I. Jason, I guess. Okay. Yeah. They got some stuff there. Oh, this is a... Oh. I hey, I didn't see that one there. This was just that's a um it was in the in the back of the auditorium there, like right before the G.I. Joe guys that were dressed up. This was uh, where okay. the vintage okay. toys were, and it was just in that little dump bin there. So I had I, I like cool. that slot. I, I almost, For a minute there the the it flashed up there and I thought I didn't see that on slot build a figure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and there's something that's what the cool You've got it looks like some kind of ooze in there, but that looks like that's inside oh, you ate that of dude. Him. That's um 
I don't know if that's supposed to be Nate Gray or if that's supposed to be what's his name in, or Xavier, you know, inside of the um, slot. It or, could be not Nate Gray. Um, it's Franklin Richards. Franklin Richards. Because he's got the blue looks, and white on there. It could be. It like looks a, too much like Hulk Hogan. Yeah. So, it could be Reed Richards. Yeah, they were to the left here. These guys that um, GI Joe costume club. Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, the Marauders f finest. These guys, they had their, they had some of their, they were dressed up pretty good. Oh, Sovereign Knight, a buff Magneto doesn't even touch Onslaught. You you have to like go on YouTube and look up Onslaught and, and that'll give you the rundown because we don't have the time to run all that down. That's another thing I'll do. <laughs> this was cool. They had this guy and they were pushing him around in a wheelchair. I thought it was a real person at first. <laughs> it like, no okay, it was just a yeah but then there's some people back there taking pictures some of the guys from that table they were yeah, bazooka pictures. snake eyes storm shadow and somebody else virgin three snake eyes maybe i don't know i can't make that one out here's the tech line trauma they were kind of cool they had um i didn't have a chance to really talk with them but they have like You'll see in the next photos, I think. They have, like, body parts and how they simulate the blood and all that. And, like, gunshot wounds and, like, like hand, you know. they're And, like, this has the bladder in there. See, with the blood and all that. And how they do some of the prosthetics. That was the booth that trained dog for veterans, Digital Cave Queen said. But not this one. It was the, the other one where all the, where they were taking pictures. So some of their stuff looked pretty, pretty cool, pretty realistic. Is that one of those things you can take it out and and like blam, blam it and? Yeah, like you know, like, I don't know. <laughs> like if he got shot in the hand and he'd push on this and the blood would come squirting out or something, you know, it's supposed to make it look realistic. And my camera, I was on the move, so this is just some people. This is on the outside yeah. before you go into the actual. Uh, up, up, up this wall here was the second floor where all the panels were. Oops, I don't know why it keeps blacking out there. All right, let's see. You let it drink too much. I did. Oh, there's a, what's his name? Yeah, there's a, no, that's a Viper. That's a Viper, okay. These, the, oh, is this the, uh, fig, yeah, this is them. Fig those gear. things sold out on Friday. These things are way cool. The figure, figura obscura uh, Egyptian gods, I think it is. Yeah, I was impressed with these as well. And that's that's why Digital Cave Queen kept going back over there. She wanted a set of those. You, she wanted this whole little diorama. Yeah, she wanted all of that. And they, they said it was like 150 for that, which I didn't think was too bad. But That was for the two figures with all the little set pieces. That oh, wasn't it was? Like, oh, it wasn't, it wasn't that whole okay. set there. No, no, no. I'm sure I got more pictures of this. <clears throat> oh, come on back. Well, these photos are mostly in order, but there's uh, what's his name again, and, and this was on the sidewall. Oh, uh, there was the the crazy ramen shop, and this is where the air condition worked the best in the entire building because it was freezing. Yes, and I will say day. this: you know, usually you think about going to a convention and it just be full of you know it'd be hot and full of sweaty people, and th there was none of that going on. <laughs> it was comfortable in there until you got to that one side and it was cold. It was like right. they should have set up like the Arctic GI Joe base down there. They they were not playing on that air condition. And so, and but was I was that. comfortable the entire time I was there. This was a cool little booth that had, you can't really see it well in these pictures. Hopefully I got some other pictures, but it was like the Death Star and a few other things like the clock that we got, you know, the Star Wars clock in there. Oh, but that, that ramen booth, it had some stuff other than, I mean, it was just like a lot of Japanese right. kind of stuff. And here's another G.I. Joe display. That's some posters and stuff. Yeah, that's all. That was all cool. Oops. I don't know why this screen keeps going black. And then there's the Big Bad Toy Store Fresh Monkey Fiction booth this, this guy was nice we talked with him i think briefly and uh oh yeah 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 because that's the back side this is the guy with the zombie um the space zombies Ar arlen pelleter studio yeah he, yes he's i think guy. i'm going to reach out to him and uh see if he wants to come on the show so he can 
yeah, tell us about. Very nice guy. Yeah, he, he seemed he seemed to have an interesting booth there. Oops, I'm sorry about the Eagle Fours, Fresh Monkey. So then there's then there's the the back of the Super Seven booth, but the the main part of the Big Bad Toy Store, Fresh Monkey Fiction, yeah, booth and. They had a display on the other corner. I think I'm getting there, yeah. That's yeah. it right there. Um of the Monster Force stuff. Oops. Let me go around the And corner. I mean that stuff looks really it's it's cool. If you haven't it's looked at it on Big Bad Toy Store, go look at the Monster Force stuff. I know I'm gonna pre Are you there? Did you freeze up? Caveman, you still there? We're still going as far as I know. Okay, okay. I had some issues there for a second, spinning wheels and stuff. That's, that's okay, you're back. So, I, I was still um, there. But that stuff looked really, really cool. And I don't know. I, I, it's not a line I want to get deep into. Well, that's not it, is it? No, no was something different. I think it's them on the corner. It's, it's on the oh corner. yeah, it's over. It's over on the corner. This look at this. Um, this dark. But they ball. had they had a a cool display of stuff, and I know I didn't take a lot of pictures. I was just so in awe. Hey, that was only fifteen hundred, dude. Why didn't you buy that? I or, bet you could have talked them down offer. on Sunday. Somebody bought it. <laughs> Somebody did buy it. They did buy it. Yeah, because they had. You know, I, I, you know where I bet that thing way. came from. Oh, there used to be a line of toy stores. One of them was in Orlando, and I cannot remember the name of it. But they've been defunct for a long time now, and they used to have stuff like this that wasn't for sale. It was just part of their displays. They had like huge X wings and Tie fighters hanging from the ceiling. They had a Darth Maul just standing at the, like the entrance of their little Star Wars shop. Uh, Fao Schwartz. Fao Schwartz. Fao Schwartz. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And so that was some cool stuff. Yeah, and I bet really that's scary. where that came from. I'm sure. I'll, I'm sure I got another picture of them close. All right, these are the guys that these are the dog trainers. Okay. I don't know if these guys actually trained the dogs, but. That's what they were there representing. Cool. Oh, this is right there. See where I, the little bins where I found the onslaught. There was a like retroville. It was a lot of like retro toys. I lost yeah. the space still all in or figure and other things. Now, which ones are these? Are these, the, is these the ones we like? Are we these? Or is that your dude? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's some cosmic. I see some cosmic legions. I see some. I don't know what that one is. I ain't seen that. Oh, there's the alien dude. Yeah, the alien. He just he just leaning out, man. Uh, can't Too much prune juice. I think so. Yeah, then I got some. Yeah, that is the the good close up of these. Yeah. These and you could change interchange the heads, which I thought was very and make different types of figures. Well, you know, with the four horsemen's lines that they're running now, like figure obscure, mythic legions, and cosmic legions, they're it's all part swappable, and you can even swap parts in between lines. Oh, this is pretty cool. They had some alien stuff set up here in diorama. Oh, I missed that one. Let me give you the full out shot. This is on the other side of the aircraft carrier there. Toy command, toy domination, I guess. So they, it's crawling. That's really cool looking. Yeah. Yeah. If Look I, at all those bugs. It's like bug spray, please. <laughs> yeah. So that's another look at it. I don't know how I miss that. We're probably getting over there looking at that uh, aircraft carrier. I was probably at the Mythic Legion's table. Yeah, we probably were. <laughs> all right. Let's see. Why is this not advancing? Okay, advance. Was that the last picture? Oh, that might have been. Did I go through 200 and something pictures already? See, I got a numbered up here. That's I did like, I had number 58. Let me go back. 
I thought I had more of them. Do, 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 do. And that's that's not even showing the the USS flag that was there. It was actually two USS flags that were there, right. and one was just like the regular setup, and then one was where this guy built all these levels that were the lower decks of the ship. Okay, and he had all this stuff and he was selling all this stuff. Hey, look over there on the right hand side. That was the bathroom where I actually had to wait in line. <laughs> this is going upstairs here to the second floor, or you can take the, el- yeah, that's where they had all the panels that we missed. This was, and th- these are going to go in back order. So this is at the end of the reel. Oh, digital cave queen. Yeah. did bring up, I was talking to one of the guys or the one guy I talked to probably the most at the, the four horsemen booth. Uh, we were, I don't remember exactly how we got some about the aliens. And I said, we all know the pyramids were made by the Stargate aliens. He says, I was in Stargate. Oh yeah. He did say that. Yeah. So that was cool. So he was one of the guys running around in the sand. Now these photos are probably going to be, this is, I think the end of the reel. So I'm going probably against the grain here, but we'll see. But this is, this is on on Sunday. This is closing. Yeah. This is on Sunday when they started clearing out everything. And that's a bad echo. And this is some ones from the from the garage there across from the, the outside, place, yeah. Which I liked it. I thought it was a really nice area down there. That's the we, we, when the heat we learned that the bridge to the uh, to the convention center to the, to the garage to the convention center from the garage, yeah. James Brown Boulevard here in Augusta. <laughs> I felt good while I was down there. I feel good. That was hot. I would think it, it, it was. It wasn't. It wasn't. Where it was like 104. It, it wasn't super bad. All right, and this is where on Sunday, once they got their stuff packed up, this is where they brought their vehicles in to load up. Yeah, and they, and they I remember them calling during the thing. It's like, if you're blocking the entrance or you have to move your car. Yeah, yeah. And all that, so. Um, let's see. And this is yes, that's when you were looking for your phone that was in my pocket, dear. <laughs> and that that's a cool view of it. Oh, that's oh, that's me. That's my Sunday pass. Oh, and there's a there's a little wristband yeah. that I got at Joe Fest, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I actually got two of those, and that's Cave a, Queen got two of those. That's a good photo. Hey, oh, God, who are those ugly dudes? I would fix the lighting on this. That's, that's probably a photo I could brighten up a little bit. But that's a good, that's us from the second floor looking down over everything. Yeah. And uh, that's another one. This is uh, something I saw. I took a picture of it because it was there. The disavow, the <laughs> element. Okay. Coming soon. I don't know what that is. That's a cool look, looking down on things. And the lobby's out this way. Oh, there's the kingdom, yeah. It was an animal. Yeah, animal warriors of the kingdom. This is where I, I saw the $80 over here in the corner. The Where is it? Over in this area or somewhere. Oh, where they had all the little posters and stuff. Right. And it, well, they had the ones here, like, in the little 8 by 10 frames. They weren't as impressive, but... Over here somewhere is where I found the eight. I think right over here is where I found the eighty dollars, six million dollar man action figure that I've wanted since my childhood, and I should have maybe got it, but oh well. Here's just some photos of things, random photos. This is oh, upstairs. Man, I, can't, I can't believe we didn't get any pictures with Pistol Dan and 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 Dan Larson. I feel like we. I don't know if we did. I think we were just. They were kind of busy with people, so. Yeah, they were. Here's they the were busy. Oh, at least we got to talk to them for a few minutes. Yeah. And those are the guys. And the card. That, and they probably didn't even look at it. Yeah. This is a. But who knows? They might be watching now. I don't know. I saw this. I think I remember this from my, playing it with my childhood, but I can't forget the name of it. This is I a, remember seeing those in like the Sears catalog. Dude, look at this photo. That was that statue. It was like seven foot statue. And that is. Scary. Yeah, I'm telling you, man, they used to have that at the Fayo Schwartz stores. And it stood at like they had a little Star Wars shop. Yeah. The, it, and it, it was at, at the entrance. I was staring him. At least at the one in Orlando. This is Strike Force. I don't know what they have there. Now, something I do want to say. Mm hmm about 
the vendors that were there. And it kind of really surprised me for the most part, new figures were selling for what their retail price was. So if it's, if it was a GI Joe classified figure or Marvel legends figure after the price hike, they were selling for 25 bucks. So is that good or bad? If it, if it was something from before the price hike, when stuff was selling for 20 bucks, I saw stuff that was 20 bucks, the same as its retail price. So no, that's, that's good. Cause I w- honestly, I was expecting inflated pricing and there may have been some places there that had inflated pricing. And as far as what their prices were on the vintage stuff, I couldn't really judge that because I don't really follow follow it that closely the the vintage stuff okay as much and I, well, I don't really follow it at all really as far as pricing goes um I like to look at it but yeah I remember that old Cylon Raider he had electronics and you could move his he had a little switch on his back that you could flick back and forth right. for his eye to move back and forth oh that's cool yeah I'm I'm always looking for Vintage or the 90 series of Battlestar Galactic, which I liked as well. But I really want some decent action figures and of the ships like the Cylon Raider and the, um, I think I have. Uh, you, what you need to look for, what you need to look for is a model kit. I've got this one. This is, I think, a die cast of Battlestar Galactic. Can, I don't know if I can see the screen there. If you can see that on the screen. Let's yeah, see. that's what it is. Where's the camera? Right there. Yeah, yeah, this is a is one of my favorites of all time, and you know, but um, this is really nice. But I don't have a Colonial Viper. I wish I had that, and so I'm always looking for some Battlestar Galactica stuff. And uh, but that was there. Yeah, there, there's and how much are they selling it for? Fifty dollars. Wow, I don't know that I pay fifty for that, but. No, because there was actually a uh, a piece that went in his gun. Yeah, and that here, lit up. And here's Seth Green and me, the guy who made you stumble all over your words. Let's see if I got. Let's see if I have volume on this. What did he say? Let's try that again. I don't know. Whole Joel Hunt's behind us. I don't know what he's saying. I said, "Whole Joel Hunt's behind us." I don't know what he said. I should have asked him to do. I should have asked him to do a promo spot, but uh, awesome. you know, I, he was he was there on his time then, right. and I, I yeah, you know, yeah. and I didn't I didn't want to. I really didn't want. He to was he was nice and he was nice enough to talk and and take a card from me and and take a couple of selfies with me in yeah. Cave Queen, and so you yeah, know, I, I didn't a great photo with him. I didn't really want to bother. Oh, this is the video I shot of him. I was like, that's him. So, I'll play that again. Let's play that again. I was trying not to bother him. Anyway, so. And I think he's more collects vintage type stuff than. Oh, this this is a guy here. Newer uh, stuff. John Anderson, um, which I, I, I've, I, I'm supposed to contact him. Uh, very nice guy. I enjoyed talking with him. Um, he is. Oh, uh, that was the guy. Okay, yeah, yeah. He was in uh, Guardians too. He Guardians was also in, and um, there was gosh, something else. Stranger Stranger Things. Yeah, Stranger things, things. That was it. Yeah, this is some of his stuff there. He was selling and um, Stranger Things. It looks like too, which honestly I hadn't watched anything past the first season. But here he is in um, Guardians. Yeah, it's about the Guardians same here. And uh, all that. Sure. What do you want today? Work sandwich, yeah. So that was. So, yeah, he, it was nice talking with him, too. He was a very down to earth guy. And I was like, I was like, I don't and know if you'd like to for be him, my... for For him to be in, in the, you know, working out of the Hollywood scene, you know, he, he, he did not. He did. He didn't talk no BS. He didn't. Yeah. He 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 pretty much said what he. He was um, straight up with what he was thinking. He he said what was on his mind. So, 
that that was kind of surprising because you would think those guys would would not speak out as much yeah. about that kind of stuff going on. He's been in a lot of stuff, but I'm reading all the things here he's been in. Wow. Well, when you contact him and interview him, yep, I'll have all this. <laughs> oh, there's me with the. Oh, he fit to sneak up and stab you through the guts. <laughs> Do not look at those bags under my eyes. <laughs> Do-po, people, po. There's Onslaught. And as I saw, I was like, oh, cool. And that's him. That's John Anderson. That's what he looks like up close. Yeah, he was a really nice guy. Very nice. He guy. really was. He, he, really, he was probably one of the nicest people I met there. And uh, yeah, that's a picture of him from as Sharon the, in Guardians Volume 2. And he said that was probably one of the best projects he ever worked on. Really? Was Guardians 2, yeah. Yeah. He was such a cool guy. Um, here's some of those or, photos. Uh, maybe not the greatest. Maybe he said the funnest. I think he said that was the funnest project the he funnest ever worked project. on. This was a, yeah, they had some cool stuff 10. in there. These are some 8x10 posters. I mean, they, it was just none of them were priced. Yeah. And I then, knew you wanted that one when as soon as I saw it, it's gonna work. Well, that. I wanted it for morph, you know that. But um Oh yeah, because it's all about morph. Yeah. Oh, come back here, Steve Austin. Where are you, astronaut? Yeah, this is the eighty dollar look at it, eighty bucks, dude. And he had the nuclear thing or whatever that is. Like, see, okay. this one has can't have no more of that. He has the patch and everything, the other yeah. one didn't. Yeah. His clothes aren't ripped. The eye didn't I wonder have if his buying it eye worked. Did look, it work? I looked through it. It did have some scratches on this side, but you know. Well, you know, I mean, it's that what, was. When was that old? made? In seventy mid seventies or mid to late, maybe mid seventies, mid to late seventies at that. A sovereign knight. He's not missing an eye. He had a gimmick where it had a lens in the front of the eye, and he had a hole in the back of his head, and you were supposed to look through it. That was his bionic eye. Yeah. Let's see, and so yeah, oh, and, and he had he had some other action features as well. Yeah, and I was a massive six million dollar fan. I mean, I grew up. I was doing the bionics and all that stuff, and so <laughs> I remember I literally got that action figure, and my mom had left me at the house with my dad, and then my dad was in the front room, and I was in my bedroom playing with my action figure, and he's probably fighting with GI Joe or or working with GI Joe because I had a GI Joe like the same. Same articulation as the hell. twelve inch. This, yeah, that was what our action figures were back then, in the seventies. And I was a kid, and so I'm playing with them, and and it, his arm came off, his bionic arm, and I didn't know it was supposed to, and so I thought I was in trouble because I just got the the action figure, and so I went and and so my mom came home with. Uh, my brother and sister later from <laughs> shopping and they were looking for me around the house and she asked my dad where I was. He said, well, he's in his room playing and all that. And then they couldn't find me there yelling and screaming. I had, I was so scared that I had broken this brand new toy that I got. And so oh, no. I, I hid under the bed and fell asleep. I ended up falling asleep under the bed <laughs> and they eventually found me and they were, but you know, my dad was like, I don't know. He's in his room. <laughs> you know, <laughs> This is back Sovereign, Sovereign Knight says it's the fall guy in a red jumpsuit and go Colt Seavers. Oh, uh, yeah. The original Colt. The only Yeah, the Colt original Seavers. Colt. Not not the new one. Don't I don't know nothing that about that one. That was a good one. movie, but that is not the fall guy. I don't know even know. Yeah, it wasn't the fall guy. guy. But yeah, I saw this and I was like, <gasps> Steve Austin. Oh, uh, yeah. The Ballad of the Unknown Stuntman. Unfortunately, yeah. we don't have the rights to play that. We don't. <laughs> um, but um, and also he, Colonel Steve Austin, as he was known, he's the one and only Steve Austin, not the wrestler. Ooh, <laughs> them's there. Oh, uh, remember, remember in like the late mid '80s when they were doing the the movies. Yes, and he had a son. The, the made for oh, TV yeah, movie. Yeah, he ended up his having son, a laser. His eye. son didn't have a his bionic eye shot lasers. I know. But, um, oh, we've got somebody else in uh, Digital Cave Queen says, Welcome, Zazzy, Zazil's Clubhouse. I hope I said that right. Welcome, so welcome. please feel free to comment 
like, share, and subscribe, and all that good stuff. Yeah, and and here this is a guy. This is a local guy, and he, I need him to contact me. I didn't for some reason get he didn't have a business card or whatever, and I I, I didn't have any cash on me um, or anything to to buy um, anything at the time. But he has a line of comic books here, and he does. If I understood him correctly, he writes wrote the stories and. He contracted someone to do the artwork on them, but um, this is the legacy of the view. I think this tells you this is like the first issues, but he's got several issues, and um, uh, you know that's got to be a hard um, industry to break into. See it and uh, look. Can you see? Can hey, you look. See? There's our cards. There's our. He got. Yeah, <laughs> I get, you know me. I always give out my business card and your business card. So. Um, he's got ours. I, so um, to this gentleman, so hopefully he'll he, contact you when he wants right to uh, legacy of the view promote his stuff, young man. And he's from Augusta, so my current hometown here. I got to see. I wish I had his name on there. Uh, I guess that's one of his shirts or something. But yeah, uh, if you happen to watch this, um, there's this little. I guess I could scan his thing. Specs. That's his name. He goes by Specs. And his, this is his Visions comics. But if I was going to scan that, you know, to get like his card, he's like, no, if you scan that, that'll take you to purchase. Which, to the uh, store. Yeah, yeah. Which is fine. But it'll he, take you to the Super 7 store. Yeah, let's see. This is number one. <laughs> Here's number two, issue number three. And, and I don't want to tell you what his powers were because um, I. He told me, but I, I did. You know, I didn't write it down, and you know, oh, you weren't is, paying attention. I was paying attention, but um, <laughs> he was—he like, was a nice young man. It was nice talking with him there. And uh, let's see if I've got anything. Yeah, I'm gonna say everybody. Okay, so I'm everybody trying to get everything in there. Okay, here. one, two, three. There, I—I I, I didn't see any Karens. Everybody was just happy to be there, looking at toys. Everybody was nice. Yeah, nobody was and, like stuck up or anything. But anyway, yeah, it was it was uh, it was really cool, and it was a very relaxed atmosphere. If anybody, even though Saturday was a bit crowded, you know, if you bumped into somebody, it was excuse me, and they said, "Oh no, don't worry about it," and or vice versa, you know, it was very so copacetic. I have homework for you, your viewers. If you guys can find out who this gentleman is, I don't know if that's his name. I don't know, or maybe that's who does the artwork i don't know but if you can figure out who this guy is he's from augusta and all that and i asked him i said do you take like oh yeah right here's augusta georgia's superhero comic book legacy of the view if y'all can find out who this gentleman is for me you know just let um digital caveman know here or something or, or let me know at geek home world on my youtube channel and uh because I'd like to reach out to him. I'd like to have him on the uh, po on my podcast and talk with him about his, his comic book line. But I think it's just really admirable somebody, you know, if he's... Yeah, his, yeah. And and like I said, stuff. you know, that can't be that can't be an easy industry... To break into. To get into, you know. Yeah. I mean... and especially Especially to hit mainstream and get Diamond Distributors to, you know sell your book and and right. stuff like that i should make just, it i should have just bit it. the bullet but it was the he was one of the first vendors we saw out there and i should have just bought some of his stuff and 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 you know been on my way about it but I unfortunately didn't get to but anyway he's really nice this was a, a booth over there oh yeah he had a bunch of dioramas yeah and this was this was on the outside of the floor this was right. uh before you got into the convention yeah he's proper. actually over here on the left now this is, and I'm going backwards in the pictures. That's why these seem out of sequence. And yeah, we talk, we talked to this guy a lot this too. This guy was very um, nice. And then there in the back, you can so so you did get a picture of Pixel Dan. There's Pixel Dan. Yeah, and we got to t we got to talk with him, and uh, yeah, they had some really cool his dioramas. This gentleman's dioramas were really cool. Yeah, yeah, and most of most of those were one eighteen scale. Let's see. Oops, go back. Or one to eighteen scale and these people i'm not sure what they had we looked at some stickers and stuff i think digital cave yeah that. i think cave queen bought cave queen. some earrings or something from there yeah and that's just just going in there I was there's just, the entrance to the thing and i don't know what that's supposed to be i i feel like i've seen I have this no person. idea i gave this person one of my cards so it's got to be from some kind of anime 
I think it is because I recognize what the suitcase and the telephone head, and I guess their name is Phony is the name. Okay. Phony, yeah. But I don't know <laughs> what all this means. It looks like a teardrop on the phone, and uh, someone can out there can educate me. This is just an uh, outlay of because I'll take pictures of anything. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and you can see it's, we're going backwards in time. I didn't get all these numbered, but this is where we were. The Olmstead Exhibition Hall. And I guess B was upstairs. I don't know. So all that. Um, no, B was the, the back half. I was the back half. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this is what was going on. This is page. You see, well, you see we're going backwards in time, but. Uh, yeah, like Saturday, I didn't even see that. Yeah. Anthony. Oh, Digital Cave Queen told you it was Pikachu earrings oh, that she bought it? at that, that stand, yeah. Oops. Come back here. Page two, page one. Page so two. these are all the panels that we didn't make it, it to any of. Because I know Seth Green did a panel up there. I'm trying to see. Break out. I don't know, but I, I saw on... um. Joe Fest USA's page that they had stuff with him. All right, okay. This was from an overview from the top, kind of when you walked in there from the second floor, you could see. Yeah, and that empty table right there next to Pixel Dan, that's where Dan Larson was. Oh, uh, next to But this must have been on Sunday. Yeah, this, I think this was Sunday. Because yeah. he was, I know he was only there Saturday. And I thought Pixel Dan was only going to be there Saturday as well, but he was there for a little while Sunday, it looked like. Yeah. As well. And I know there were some other YouTube guys that I saw there, but I wasn't sure if it was them or not. Oh, that's a nail that was in my tire. I don't know how that <laughs> ended. That was pretty, that started the downfall. Yeah, that was, that was dinner, what, Saturday night? Yep. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I don't know how those got in there. Oops. <laughs> so this is downtown convention center in Augusta. It was a beautiful day. Oh, there's a, there's a close up on our. There's another picture of Sarge and the Baroness. Yeah. Let's see. Listen up. Yes, we accept. We accept credit cards. cards. An eight by ten T-shirt photo op, one hundred dollars. Oh dear. I guess it's worth it, you know, if he's your childhood hero. There's a lot of cool stuff in there. Oh, that's his Hall of Fame, but that's cool, the poster. He, he always reminded me well, of... I can, I can remember in the 90s when when he was still wrestling and um, there was, like, this storyline where he got kidnapped by Saddam Hussein and brainwashed. Oh, good God. <laughs> And he started, he, he wore like a uniform, a Saddam Hussein looking type uniform with like the khakis. Why did he and, always and the Bray. Me Smokey and the Bandit? <laughs> a little bit. I don't know. Who's that? <laughs> oh, you're talking about Jackie Gleason? Yeah, a little bit. Let's see if we got anything on motion here. Oh, okay. This was some of the G.I. Joe artwork. They had tons of these boxes of these. Posters. Yes, yes. And, and there was just tons and tons of stuff hey, there. At, some of these are awesome. As well. That's, that's pretty awesome right there, that one. I thought it was pretty cool. And I didn't get a lot of these up close. I don't know what that was. Um, this was something. And, and you know, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I really intended to go there and shoot a bunch of footage oh. and put a video together, but I was just tired. There was so much there to look at. This is that one that had like the Star Wars clocks and different things. It looks like Star Trek and most of these are Star Trek. Oh, like they were like clocks. the clocks that looked like they were made on out yeah. of vinyl records. Yeah, here's a similar to one we both have of uh, the Death Star. Yeah, yeah. But they had a lot of cool little swords. I think these were individual swords. Yeah, they were they're little metal swords. They're really cool. I mean, the artwork on these are really nice. There's so many of them. They almost had, like, too much stuff. I mean. There was. There was too much to look at, man. It's like, it's really beautiful swords. But you know what? I, I feel like it was well worth 
Oh, yeah. The price of admission and the price of admission was not much. Okay, here is the lower decks of the USS flag. And one of the things is really cool. They had and they like these little these like those, those arcade cabinets and the doors yeah. and the bed. I mean, all of this 3D printed stuff. Yeah. You, he was selling this stuff. Didn't you buy one of these or something similar? You got I I did buy one, one, but it wasn't one from him because it was the wrong scale. It was that other guy on the back wall. Look at the food here. The hot dogs and the hamburgers is so cool. I just and love it, I nice forgot food. I forgot to show that off as part of my my haul. Oops. But, go back. So then Yeah, just a little locker. Oh, that yeah, was upside is, down. So yeah. But that was I mean and that thing was on wheels. It was. It's pretty cool. I hope I got it. It was. It's like that thing was amazing. It's like four levels. Yeah, here's the aircraft. And he said, no, there was like there were like two levels under that one with the table and chairs. Yeah. And I asked him, I said, why are these all blank? You just gonna fill them in? Later? He's like, oh, I'm gonna make those vehicle bays. I don't know what was all that shifty eye stuff going on there. I don't know. <laughs> my phone was, oh, look at me looking all serious. Why wow, so serious? That was intimidating <laughs> to be standing by him. <laughs> this operation. Oh, yeah. Force. Here's the Monster Force display. Yeah, was, this thing was amazing. I hope I got better photos of it than that. Yeah. Look at some of this. Okay. Cave Queen said go back. Oh, go back. Okay. Okay, it looks like we got a bot or something in here. What's a bot? Uh, sweet salv. I don't. I can't even. I'll just ban them or ignore them. Kick. You can. Kick. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. So um. So these are the monsters. I mean, that diorama was just fantastic. It even had like little nails in it in the floorboards. Yeah, uh, it's, and like it was really like like look I don't know this. if it was actual nails or if it was just like pieces of wire that they like stuck in there, they but have, it was something stuck in there. It wasn't just a paint out. Like something was chained up here. They got a little gold chain. Yeah, in probably there. that werewolf that's up on the top level. <laughs> and it's pretty cool. I mean, there's a coffin. Yeah. They even got the fire coming from the gun there, kind of. <laughs> Looks like this guy's pass already fell from the top or something. I don't know what's happening, poor guy. Oops. And then going up a little bit. Then then you had these guys. And there's the, the werewolf. Yeah, coming through the top there. And then you had... Oops. Okay. Uh, I hit the wrong uh, button. Then you have this one right here. Okay, um, when you get through with that, Digital Cave Queen said, go back to the flag. Go back to the flag? Okay. Yeah. Right here? No, keep going to the, the ship, the lower decks. Oh, lower decks? Okay, going back to lower decks. That, yeah. Did you have pictures of, like, the top? Yeah, right right there. This top part. Like, this on the top, the top portion of it and the supports there the, are the original pieces yeah, like of the flag. Right there, yeah, right there. And so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it looks like so that's the original pieces of it, it and like he added like, lights and stuff to it. Right. This is all added on at this point. And I think that's the Haslab Sky Striker. I don't think I don't think it's the original one, but I could be mistaken. Yeah, I didn't see. look at it that close. Here, let's see if you can. My phone was doing some kind of motion thing there, <laughs> but that oops, go back. Yeah, but that that whole thing was yeah. It's just that that long stretch right there. And and, and, oh, and that he thing these, he put these lights the original. On yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. He added those lights to it. Right. And sorry, you know that thing was eight feet long. It was every bit eight feet. Yeah. And it was probably. Five foot tall it's got a crane that that whole that whole piece there yeah it, it had to have been at least five feet tall there was more up here that you see out out of the picture there that i didn't get a hold of but uh 
that was that was that was very impressed with that. And they have our digital cave queen said that is the original Sky Striker because she talked to him a little more than I did about the stuff from 1985, apparently. Yeah, SS flag. Yeah, the original the original parts were from 1985. Wow, that's impressive. Um, Just the level of detail is just so cool. And I've seen I've seen other people do like one lower deck, right? But not on it. But I've never seen anything like this. Because look at this picture that looks like there's at least one, two, at least three levels, or maybe four. No, there was two. Like where that table and chair is, there's two empty levels under that. Oh, okay, okay. So I'm telling you, that thing was at least five feet tall. Yeah. And I was just amazed. Like even the video games, if you could look, you can see the the stuff on the screen. Oh, yeah, yeah, those were cool. Go. I only wish that they had been in one twelfth scale because I probably would have picked some of those up. I was up. trying to get you to get that Star Wars ones when they said they were half off. I wanted it, and if it had been one twelfth scale instead of one to eighteen scale, I would have. These are these are so cool. But yeah, those those are cool. Oh yeah, there's the rest. And there's some more of these pictures. I probably got. should I probably should have picked up the con exclusive, uh, Dracula and Tadaka. Forgotten King. That was like the Forgotten King. They were both made out of translucent plastic, and Dracula was red, and like his base was like a pool of blood. But I I opted not to get those. Uh, here's the, hey, here's there's the, Deadpool. Yeah, Deadpool was there. Let's get Deepers gonna hurt with the costume on. Let's see what I got on motion here. Mostly <laughs> 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 you got my backpack. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, something on my phone. It like turned. It does a few seconds of motion, but I, I wasn't. Yeah, asking. they. they uh, mine does that too. Oh, that's good. Let's see. Oh, my phone was beeping. <laughs> that's a that's a good little motion there. That's cool. Oh, there was um, so Sergeant Wild Bill. Bill. Oh, that's that's Bill. Wild, no, that's Wild Bill. Um, and Firefly. Yeah. Some more photos. There's top five that. Got one yeah. Of cards. Yeah. He had yeah, a lot of little cool, cool, cool little weapons. Yeah, the machine guns and stuff. Yeah, this is this is his booth where he was selling. He was selling the guns. Uh, they were plastic guns, YouTube. They're not real ones. We yeah. were not at a gun show. Yeah, no, these are just. I don't want them. them see I don't want the AI to like hear me say a keyword and it's, it's pulled the video. They're plastic, <laughs> plastic, plastic. Millennium Falcon. You skipped the Millennium Falcon. Oh, this one. Yeah, the weird. Man, to you don't know how tempted. I, know. I was very tempted by that piece, but I just, I have no place to put it. It is huge. What does that say? 355? 355. And she was going to go to like two. She offered 280. Dang. She, she said she could take it down to 280. But the guy who knew about it wasn't there. And she's like, that's and so we didn't know that all the pieces. Go. She didn't know if all the pieces were there. So, but even without all the pieces, that's ugh. that is a fantastic piece. It's still got the and coloring. Again, there was another one that was cheaper. I just, that was on. I have no place. Tables that, no place to put that thing. It was the yellow plastic, you know, when it gets old and it just turns yellow. Yeah, and yeah. Yucky. Well, that was like one of the older ones. Yeah, definitely, definitely like one of the, the older ones. I don't think it, I don't think it was one of the Kenner ones, but I think it was one of the Hasbro ones that they did off of the Kenner mold. Right. But that that one's just like maybe awesome. Power of the Force two or Saga. So what is this here? Is it? It's just a. Looks like that's in. Place. That's like the cover for the other side where the okay. escape pod goes. Right. And then those look like the guns. Oh, there we go. There's a cockpit. Well, and the thing about that, man, it's got four seats in the cockpit. 
Oh, he screwed up. Oh my gosh. You're right. That's an overview of it. Some of the other stuff. Then we got some his tanks. That's a launcher, isn't it? Or, I think. It looks like a launcher of some kind. I can't quite make out what it is. Oh, I can almost see the tag there. What does it say? I can't read it. Fifty. Oh, there ain't no way you can read it at that angle. No. <laughs> oh, what is that? Oh, oh. Oh, oh the ramen, the ramen booth. And I don't mean where they were selling ramen. I mean ramen toys. I pity the fool not that don't buy this action figure. I had those, man. I had those back in the day. Galoob or whatever. Howling Mad Murdoch. Mr. Yeah. T. <laughs> Let's see what else. And this, the General Lee. So, there, yeah, there's the the ramen, the orange version of the ramen racer yeah. with some decals applied to it the to make it look me. like a certain car that is not politically correct anymore. Yeah. But they had some fun stuff. There's the, the van. They call it the bread van, but basically it's the A-Team, A-team van. A-team van. And I, I will tell you, I am tempted. I'm really tempted. On that one, when when it comes up, let's see. And then they had some. Yeah, these ramen racers. The ra- cool. There's a ramen racer right there. That's um, what's a um, Ghost Rider? <laughs> like the hill, it's like the hill charger. Right. Oops. What is and then, did you get pictures of the tanks? I'm about to find out. Oh, this is so. A, there was there there was Ramen's um, night ops stealth exclusive. Yeah, following. how cool is that? That's awesome. And it's good. and if you're not familiar with that, that was it's based on a line that Kenner did called Mask, where all the figures came with these like helmets with masks on them and hundred and bucks. the the and it was a vehicle. You know, it always came with a figure in a vehicle together, and the vehicle would like transform like this one yeah, a transforms from a car to a it's a, a jet. That's so pretty, pretty badass. Oh, here's from Battlestar Galactica. No, apparently you didn't get no pictures of the tanks. <laughs> There's a Commander Adama. Lauren Green. Doesn't even look like him. Oh my gosh. I think I had these lunch boxes at in Thermos. I really feel like we did. Probably did. There were so many of them that were alike. Yeah. It's, you know, but it's remember, hard to remember, remember which ones you had. This, I remember this thermos and I remember this. I, well, they came together. So. Yeah. 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 Back in the day, they came together. Oh, there's like the original Mego. Yeah. This is, it did. General Lee had, and that sticker doesn't belong. Luke on Duke. There. Yeah, but they no, did. it goes. Yeah. Let's see where, like that one you just touched. That's where it goes. Right. It's right there. That looks so like a somebody Knight, just Knight Rider yeah. car over here. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it sure was. Be there, Knight Rider, Sundays at 8. <laughs> Night Industries. Two. That looks like an old Hot Wheels. It's the 2000, yeah. That must have been like some kind of special. It does look like Hot Wheels. Right. Dang, that thing was $30. <laughs> was it for? Oh, it sure is. Oh my God, you're right. And that's looking at the big bad toy store monster. Oh. They had they had a huge booth in the middle, and then Super Seven's booth was right in front of them. Yeah, they maybe could. And it was a fair size booth too, but it wasn't. It was not this big. Right, right. And this is looking at those again. And then the guys in the Eagle Force. What was this? Long's Box Heroes. Oh, those are like lesser known comic. Well, I won't say the tick was lesser known, but. Yeah. There's, looks like some old G.I. Joes. Oh, no, that's the um, Eagle Force. Eagle Force. Yeah, you're right, Eagle Force. 
because I saw some of those on um, Big Bad Toy Store, the Eagle Force, right? And some of those characters are cross pollinating with Monster Force, like the General. Mm-hmm. Let's see. And here's you again with a uh, Sergeant Sergeant Slaughter. And this is us peeking in there. Is that? That's not Seth. That's somebody else on the panel. And there we just snuck in there and looked. Who is this Joe guy? Let's see what he's... Oops, come back. I'm trying to see what he's putting up there. I can't tell. Uh, I can't either. Pretty good zoom on this. That was overall there. That was that far back corner. That that is another nice. This was from this was from the upper level, just right outside where they were holding the panels. You'd have the doors over here off screen to your right. Yeah. And uh, that hallway is on the other side of this wall. And I mean, y'all can you can just see that it was. Yeah, this dude over here we were talking to. I don't know if that's the guy, but he was really nice in this corner over here. We had yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff and he had some really good stuff. I can't believe he had a boxed sail barge. Yeah. And I don't mean like in the regular box. I mean, it was in the shipping box. Yeah. See, there was so much in there and so many people. This might have been Saturday because I feel like Sunday was even. Yeah, I think this was Saturday. Okay, I'll take it back. So the Super 7 and the Big Bad booths were about the same size. Okay. It just seems with this, it seems bigger for some reason. I don't know why. That's just more spread out. Actually, they could have put another table in here and got more stuff in or turned it, you know, turned this table this way. And I don't yeah. Know. But, and that's us. And that's you. It's your, your contraption. So I did. I did see. I did shoot some B roll there. Yeah. I like your little mic. That works pretty good. I like your whole. Oh, that's my regular mic that I use. Uh, in my reviews, little shotgun mic is what it's called, apparently. Yeah. At least that's what it said when I bought it. Right. <laughs> Monster Force. There's some more close ups of Monster Force stuff. Yeah, there's some Warhammer 40K. Gods of War. And. They weren't selling a whole bunch of stuff there either. They weren't, yeah. They were just there to kind of have a presence. These G.I. Joes were kind of awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are the, uh, I think those are the Mezco. They're highly articulated. They, um, no, that's the Fig Zero. Fig Zero, okay. Yeah. So that might be a... One sixth scale. Uh, this is that. Uh, you remember that purple doll I had? <laughs> I had this one too. Yeah. And I don't know what they're from. Look, he has a scarf. <laughs> but I, <had> this, <laughs> I don't know. I just thought this. And I just saw that randomly saw the, a film bot from the Bionic Woman and it's sealed. What's the chance oh. of finding one of those sealed? But, you know, who wants a Bionic? Whatever. <laughs> Who wants a fembot? A fembot. Austin Powers. That's true. He does. <laughs> yeah, there's a big bad toy store. So we got a picture of that. Was and that then the that's program? the ramen. That's the, the ramen razor. The other ramen racer. The ramen razor. Razor. Excuse me. That's pretty. The the black one is the ramen racer, and then the, the one in right. front of it is the ramen razor. razor. And then the other one was the hazard racer, I think is what it said. Oh, here's the tank. And then there the you can see a, a, one of the tanks there. Wait, let me go back. The Hunter, $180 shipped in the U.S. Man, That's all them all them jokers. I went to the website and checked. It's all pre-sold out. All of it. Sure it is. Yeah. Oh, I was like, man, I was really thinking hard about one of them tanks. I just think I know where to put it. He's committed to his costume. Yes, that's Storm Shadow version. Oh, here we go. Raise the flag. Yeah, raise the flag. So I did get some pictures of it. 
So, you know, that's almost... Uh, so, yeah, this is the top deck, which is the original right. and these piece, are minus, the like, light. the lights. The lights are added on. They're very nice. He, he did a great... And he was, selling, he was selling all this stuff. Yes. All these add-on pieces, he was selling. And th it was really cool, and so they were really, really nice. It. So there's at least one layer down here. So one, two, three, at least four layers, or three layer, at least three layers underneath. Well, there might have been two more. You said so. Yeah, there's. I, I want to say there was two under that. Because if you count from way up here to way down here, it's not even in the. Yeah, it was. It's taller than five. To the deck, it's probably about five feet. Right. Oh, this was the Skeletron stuff. Yeah, it's cool how he had all this. They had a they had a little setup where you could build your own. Oh, is this that part of that? Is this that machine we saw earlier there that you liked? That was articulate. That was moving. You remember the one on the table, the skull skull like this. Did you freeze up on me? Oh, I'm still here, so just give it a chance to catch up. Just doing a little glitch here, but just bear with us. When, this happens when you're on a almost two and a half hour live stream. All right, caveman. Oh, he's. Hopefully we didn't lose him. Uh, okay. Just, uh, bear with us. Uh. <laughs> Come on, caveman. Come on back to us. Well, just in case this stream is crashing or whatever, thank y'all for joining us. Please uh, subscribe um, to the channel. Uh, anybody who's watching, you subscribe um, to Digital Caveman Presents on YouTube. Follow them on Instagram and Geek Home World on my channel, um, where we talk film, TV, and tech. Oh, we got Caveman back. You're back. Okay, yeah, okay, I'm back. <laughs> I was just giving them just so in anyway, case this it was crashed. The, I was giving them the um, the uh, speed. This about. was the um, this was at the Skeletron booth, and I was yeah. saying they had a really neat setup. Is this the skeleton? And one of the things, one of the things they were selling was where you could build your own one to eighteen scale figures. Now this, this you had to pick like so many weapons and a base body and is this armor the skeleton pieces. that we saw on That's another the, table? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was like moving. It was like or something. It was. It looked. A it lot, was on a turntable. It was on a turntable, so it looked like yeah. <laughs> really. I mean, it just looked really cool. So yeah, that thing is like. Imagine it's like a TIE fighter, yeah. but the cockpit is a skull. And it's got guns coming out the eyes here. Yes. Plastic. That thing is really, really cool. Yeah, and then it's got the ice breath or whatever. It's just really cool. This picture doesn't do it justice. Let's see what the motion does for it. Oops. Maybe I don't have motion on that one. Okay. I'll come back then. Okay, that didn't do anything, but you know, you get the idea. Uh, that that little diorama they had set up there was uh, it was fantastic. Oh yeah, this is this is yeah, looking at the alien thing again. The now there in the background there was the other USS flag that I saw there. Right, and it's not even put together. And it completely. wasn't it wasn't like yeah, I don't even know if it was complete. I didn't ask because yeah. I know I'm not buying that. Right, <laughs> toy domination. And I think that's all my photos. That is all my photos. <laughs> awesome. So I I had a really good time. And I know. I did. I did as well. That it wasn't, you know, that wasn't really your scene. But I, I did because, you know, it was all action figures and, and toys. And and that's not usually your, your cup of tea. It, it wasn't. Um, but, um. Oh, it's just getting a text. Your internet's lagging, <laughs> Digital Cave Queen. Yeah. I was like, yeah, we're cool, we're cool. Uh, I was still recording, so. Um, anyway, um, 
Yeah, it, it wasn't it wasn't necessarily my cup of tea. Had you not gone with me, I wouldn't have gone on my own. But um, right. I, I thoroughly right. enjoyed it. I had, spending time with y'all, of course. But yeah, this was really cool. And you know, I found I found a line of figures I might be interested I mean, in. <laughs> just the stuff, man. The, for the me, amount of, for me, seeing things and like the, variety. the Star Galactica stuff, and especially that six million dollar man, I'm gonna probably always remember because I text my sister and I sent her a picture. She's like. You need to get it. I was like, it's eighty dollars. I can't justify eighty dollars for that. <laughs> My wife will kill me. But I did quickly look it up online and comparable conditions to what that was. Yeah. eighty dollars was absolutely reasonable was... for it. So I, I I I wouldn't have got a better deal necessarily online. Maybe five dollars less, but you know, I would have paid that. Right, but, right. But it was kind of cool and seeing some of those figures. It just took me back, like pulled me back in time to you know when I had some of those action figures and that's, that's just, that's what's cool about these, these um, uh, toy cons, lone, whatever you want to call Lone them. Dragon, welcome. And yes, we were talking about Joe Fist and you just missed all the pictures. If you're just showing up, you're going to have to go back and watch. It's a two hour stream here. And, and no, I did not mislabel another video. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, he caught, he caught me last week. I had two that were mislabeled where, I used the reuse stuff and I forgot to change the, the label out. Oopsies. I changed everything else out and I forgot the label. And and he he caught it and he called me out on it early enough that I can I can get it fixed pretty quick. Yeah. That's so cool. I do appreciate that loan. Um but yeah, for it being my first con con, I have to always say that. Um <laughs> <laughs> I, I thoroughly enjoyed it and and uh i do hope we can do some more of that again in the future you know um you know it, and i've still got some interviews you there's one even got some um, to line up from that there's one coming up in your area in january i think january i'm gonna have to look into it you know so i may i may be done with marching band season by that point and the only thing is it's not going to be in the same place as somewhere across the river oh well that's neither here so, nor there you know it's i mean it might be right, actually right. nicer if it's across the river no offense <laughs> to, to anybody here but um and even even digital cave queen said she had a really good time good and i didn't think she would uh, towards the end especially on sunday did. i was kind of like all right. Yeah, my butt was dragging. On I Sunday. was dragging a little bit on Sunday, and I was like, I was kind of hoping we could leave a little bit, but then I was like, because I was sort of hungry, but then I was like, I was still, we still found things, even things that we hadn't looked at before, or we looked at, we got to look at. Closer. Yeah, and I mean, we we must have walked that floor several times. twenty times. We did, and, and the thing is, especially on Sunday after seeing all and being there, it was packed like sardines on Saturday. So Sunday was a lot. well. No, it wasn't quite. It well, wasn't quite it, that bad. There were a lot there of people there, of, but there were pockets. That were yes, like there that, were pockets but, of it. Um, it. That's probably fair, more fair to say. But yes, yeah, Sunday there was less people there, and so it was easier to kind of spend a little bit more time with each thing, you know, because you want to hog up. <laughs> too much time there but um yeah it was it was a blast i'd do it again and all that next time i'm gonna make sure i bring some money here <laughs> save some money up for it. <laughs> yeah you better start saving up and if that's i see a six million there. dollar man action figure or some battlestar galactica stuff that's nice i'll, I'll snatch it up and, so i can complete my collection but um let's see oh i don't have your i don't have your card here but it's time for shameless plug <laughs> <laughs> please oops I flip it over flip it over so they can see the the qr code this is my podcast uh geek Con augusta con digital cave queen says augusta con augusta is the con. name of it so there's my she saw it on uh facebook north augusta across the river okay scan that qr code now and so yes please please go check ed's channel out and give him a a and sub and and a few hours because he is desperately in need of it. I'm, I'm, I'm building, I'm building and building. And, um, but yeah, we were, we were talking about who, which stream we were going to do it on. And then it just seemed natural that it would be on yours. So, yeah. And you know, like I said, you can put, you can take the audio yeah. 
well, and, I'm recording and it upload on it on your Pro, so, so I don't know how much of it I've been recording the audio on uh, back up on the laptop here and on my so you can you can turn it into a straight up podcast I would I would do that yeah. and except for the part where you know it's showing the pictures you might want to because it won't show the pictures unless you put it in like make a video out of it and add the pictures to it or just take the video I don't know I hadn't thought of that so yeah I I, I, I don't know the best thing is just to go um <laughs> Lone Dragon says a, a sub. sub. Does, but, does he like meatball? Do you like meatball? <laughs> I guess. Um, be careful how you answer that. <laughs> I know, yeah. It'll be used against me. Um, well, Lone Dragon, if you'd love to come over and subscribe to my channel and send me <laughs> send me a sub in the mail, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I don't, oh, don't send me a sub. Like wrap it up good like one of them Walmart subs out of the deli. Yeah. Oh, let's see. I'm, I'm going to give a shameless plug to someone that's probably not going to see this. But um, I, I was in this little banking seminar at, at college, and, and one of my classmates, uh, she makes these little bracelets here. And these are guys' bracelets, and they're really cool. I mean, it doesn't do justice on camera here, but they just go on your wrist, and this is her little QR code. That's for, usually where bracelets go. Well, yeah. <laughs> Rhinestone, sweet. So... She's a really nice, nice. And that's where on Instagram. Yeah, that's. I think that's her Instagram. Yeah, so it's called Rhine. I guess I gotta say it. R H I N E S T O N E underscore S U I T E. That's at that rhinestone suite. But I don't know. Cool. So that's that. And here's my to do list. You know what my to do list says. Make What's vi that? make video of 206 Joe Fest photos ahead of live stream <laughs> with with the digital caveman. Well, this you know, you know, mine the, the, mine that you that you made and, and gave to me that it was a project. And you know, I've been I've been using good. too, so it's 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 sitting up here, and I am getting some use out of it. So this, good, good. Decide on date and time for live stream. Set up interviews for Joe Fest guests for Geek Homeworld. I haven't done that yet. Bad yes, beach. don't check that one off. And yeah, I I need to I'm I'm really I'm gonna contact this this guy with the space zombies. Yeah, yeah. He, he was he because was really I really cool. I was really interested in, in those. Those were really really cool. Was that the one y'all were talking your ears off? And I just it, it, at some point I had nothing to offer. And no, no, no. This was more toward like the middle of the next to the back row. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, but uh. We talked to a lot of people. A lot of there were a lot of vendors we actually got to talk to, which kind of cool. A lot of cool people. And I mean, just, just just everybody there was friendly and it was a cool vibe. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't know. I don't know how much of that translates into something like San Diego Comic Con, but yeah, and you we, know, because there's just the, the amount of people. Yeah, you and I don't dress that are up at and something that. like that. Yeah. And something like this, it's just insane. And there was probably on Saturday, I don't know, I would estimate there was maybe 300 people in there. Yeah. Might have been more than that. Yeah, I didn't see what the capacity of that place was, but it's probably much more when you add... You, you think it was more than 300? Up. I'm talking Saturday. about attendees. I'm not talking about counting. I'm oh, not talking yeah. about counting the vendors and stuff. I'm talking about attendees. I think it was more than 300. I, I really do. I do. It was Saturday. Now, obviously it was less on Sunday, but um, it still was a sizable amount of people there on Sunday. Um, and there, you know, there was also a lot of stuff going on after. Yeah. That because we weren't at the hotel, we didn't get to see like they had room sales. They had the lobby swap. Um, yeah, the, yeah. I heard I heard people talking about the lobby swap. Like two guys were like hightailing it to get out there to see what they. Could yeah, swap. yeah. <laughs> and I was like, that's pretty cool. So, that's a cool idea, you know. And and the fact that they let them do that and it's, not pay for a vendor booth is you know says something that's good about yeah. That. About Joe Fest, but so, yeah, the people so, that put it on, um, I tagged them, and I don't think Joe Fest and them came into the stream here, but hopefully they'll see this. But uh, 
Yes, maybe maybe they'll hit us up on the back end. That would be cool for it. Um, and so I know I hit them up on Instagram. You said you hit them up on Facebook. Yeah, because I I think I'm uh, at my personal page and um, my Geek Home World Facebook page. I, I hit them up on that. Um, <sighs> so that's all I got, and I'm tired. <laughs> 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 this is literally uh, we've hit i think oh my two gosh hours and 30 we, minutes we, we talked him out he talked himself out that never happens <laughs> i got my i got my cool um i got my cool hat. oh your darth maul hat yeah that is a cool hat that is neat my sister got that don't you want me to tell me. you the only problem the only problem with that hat what it's got it's got threads in it <laughs> may the threads be with you <laughs> no you know i'm not i said i wasn't gonna bring that up but i couldn't resist that one that one that yeah, one was just yeah it was waiting uh disney get your act together please so <sighs> well that's all I got. since you were late to the party loan you'll you'll have to go back and and watch it not live and you just skip to the good parts yeah oh, we have some more comments <laughs> and did yeah the parachute get... drop they had that friday night yeah um room sales and lob- lobby swaps and all that yeah it was pretty cool that would that would have been cool to have been part of all that but i would that's if you it... don't get a room if you don't get a room early you don't get a room right so what's different in the room sales versus the lobby swap? I mean, the lobby swap is like you literally just swapping, like not. Well, paying. no, they they would they'll sell stuff too, from okay. what I understand. But <laughs> hey, that's not my problem. You should take your naps during the day, like I do. <laughs> yeah, I had to take a nap today. I, I, I went on two errands today, and I came home and took a nap. I'm like. That's how you know you're getting older. <laughs> you, I didn't. Even, I didn't even make it out of the house before nap time. So <laughs> <laughs> you did better than me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and they, the digital cave queen said on on social they were saying things were going on until about two or three in the morning. Wow. So it's probably a good thing I wasn't there because I would have got zero sleep. But yeah, and then we had to it turn still it would have been Sunday. fun. Yeah. But, and that yeah. early in the morning, people might not have been. They might have been grouchy at where, that time. Where do we eat at? We ate, at, we ate a little place on the corner there. Which, oh, what was the name of that place? I don't know, but it was good. Yeah, I thought it was pretty good. Digital Cave Queen, do you remember where, where we ate? She's like, oh my God, who are you, Geek Home World? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, where'd you get that nice shirt? Oh, I don't know. This one that says Geek Home World? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, some. I think somebody, somebody really nice gave you that as a birthday present. My father got it for somebody me really before cool. he turned to the dark side. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> somebody really cool, I think, gave you that. It had sand on it. I don't like sand. It gets it's coarse and it gets everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. what, which Kate, which would you prefer? Me. Which would you prefer, sand or thread? Sand. I'll take <laughs> sand any day. I'll eat sand any day. Before I'll pull on a thread and create people out of the force or, or out of the thread. So we're all just threads. Is that what it is? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I watched up to through three and I, I think I'm done with it. Yeah. You're done. I, I, I'm going to probably watch the other one. I actually, I don't, a couple hours. I don't even, done, but. I don't, I don't even care that Key Eddie Mundy was in it. <laughs> Because he shouldn't have been. I don't even care. He wrecks the lore. And the Sith have been extinct for a millennium. What about the attack on the Wookiees? Apparently, he <laughs> has the same math teachers that I did. <laughs> he can't. He can't add or subtract. Uh, he was taking online classes, was he? And I don't believe he lied to Yoda and the rest of the Jedi thing for all that time. No, they, they just screwed it up by bringing his character in there. Yeah, that was. <laughs> Makes no sense. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm distraught. But, that you know, you got to hit rock bottom for you can turn your life around. So that's where Disney. That's what they say. Star Wars Disney. So, you know, we've been hitting rock bottom. So Here's the the thing. Have we hit rock bottom yet? 
God, I can't imagine how they how screwed up. How far can you fall? I don't know. And why do we fall, Master Bruce? So we can learn. So that we up. can get back up. That's right. <laughs> well, uh, I'm sorry. I don't do a very good Michael Caine. No one does. Not even Michael Caine. No. <laughs> he stopped acting. <laughs> Nobody does it like Michael Caine. I think he turned 90 and he's like, oh, I'm done. I'm like, <laughs> you have nothing. To yeah, do. yeah. He pretty he pretty much retired after Dark Knight Rises. Well, no, he he. I think he might have done one movies, but yeah, yeah. But he's he's. Beamy's at the river was the name of the restaurant. Digital Cave Queen said it was good. I mean, it wasn't the greatest, but I liked it there. I liked that whole area. I love that convention center and and the garage that they had. That's the size of it. Yeah, and you you were all talking like I don't I don't want to go down there. It might be a bad place. (laughs) It wasn't. (laughs) But it was it was very very nice down there. Yeah. August is turning around, especially the downtown area. It's 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 coming back, and I, in several years, it's going to be thriving, I think, and really wonderful again. So that'll be nice to see. Up, oh, digital cave queen's phone. Uh, her is phone is dying. Well, we need to end the stream anyway, unless you want to go to. Yes, we hours. do, because we're just at this point where it's the rambling Laura section. And born. oh, I can't do that. We don't have the rights to that. No, song. you can't. We don't have copyright for that. Jesus. <laughs> I tell you, you might you might be over the limit because I think we're allowed like five seconds. Oh <laughs> uh, well. So I'll know I'll know later, and then about five minutes after we end the stream, whether get, or not we got copyright struck. De- yeah, you get demonetized. <laughs> so that's the last time I go on a stream with that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. So, but um. Uh, all right, where can where can everybody find you? Uh. I'm a, let me look at my card and find out. It's, it says YouTube. It's uh, at Geekcom World forty two forty eight. Cause I once I get a hundred subs, I've got sixty last that I checked. When I get oh nice, I can name. So you picked up a few. I have picked up a few. I think I started out last year with like twenty three. So you know I, I consider that growth. Um, Facebook, it's Geek Home World. Uh, my main site's geekhomeworld.libson.com. And then on Twitter or X, whatever you want to call it, it's at Geek Home World. We talk film, TV, and tech. I need some people that, that actually deal with tech. And, and don't worry, you, you won't get paid or compensated anyway. <laughs> it's an unpaid internship. It's an unpaid internship. <laughs> that you don't even get any experience for. <laughs> and you don't get any experience, but you get to be on the podcast and audio form wherever you get your podcast. <laughs> I'm told it's not cool to say wherever you get your podcast, you're supposed to say exactly where, but you know, wherever you get your podcast, you can get geek home where we're available. And then the videos on YouTube. So anyway, if you're interested in being on the podcast or whatever, you know, I love talking to uh, fellow creative people and, and geeks out there. Don't let him fool you. He just loves talking. I do love talking. (laughs) Sometimes I talk just to hear myself talk. I believe you. I believe me too. <laughs> anyway, so oh, well one one last thing I wanted to hit on. I forgot about this. This was part of the Joe Fest hall, and um, Mega J Retro actually gave this to Digital Cave Queen. He's like, I don't know if you like this kind of stuff, or you can give it to your son or whatever. But the uh, Delta Seventeen. Oh yeah. Comic book, and you got one of those too. I didn't got you? one too. I'm like, okay, I need to read it. I'm afraid to so, open it because it doesn't ruin the value. <laughs> I don't think you have to worry about that. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I, I read it. It's okay. Well, that was very nice of him. It's okay, nice. but you can't be free, and yeah. I do appreciate it. Yes, definitely, I do too. And I'm gonna read mine. And of course, everybody knows where to find me. Where is that, by the way? YouTube.com slash at Digital Caveman with two N's. <laughs> Not one N. That'll take you somewhere else Would that you, you don't want to be. The only reason it's that way is because your key, your N on your keyboard was stuck, I guess. <laughs> no, no. It was because somebody already had that uh, in uh, Xbox Live. They had Digital Caveman with one N. It was probably was so, you. You probably did like I did. No, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. This was this was when we were just starting out the podcast, and I decided to call myself that, and and so I said, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna have Gmail, Xbox Live, it's all gonna be the same. Right. 
So then I went, the one time I changed my name on Xbox Live and somebody already had it. So I said, screw it. I'll just add an extra in. Uh, not probably not the wisest thing, but I didn't want it to be a number. I once reported myself for hacking myself on one of the services, and I realized later, oh, it was me. <laughs> I thought somebody had hacked my account. But no, I- Lone, that is not how you spell it. Yeah, that not- might be how you pronounce it, but that's not how you spell it. Digital, <laughs> dig, dig it all, caveman. I like that. That's a good one, Lone Dragon. Dig it all, caveman. Um, Dig it all, caveman. Yes. Group it. Yes, he's been calling me that for a long time. He's he's a long time subscriber, Sweet. viewer. So what's what's Lone Dragon all about? What's he collect? Oh, he collects all kind of stuff too. He digs it all too. <laughs> well, we should have him on sometime. I've thought about it when I when I get ready to start doing doing. Uh, Lives on a regular basis again. Well, I'm sure that I have he's, a lot of people in, in mind that uh, Lone Dragon's such a super fan that he's probably telling everybody to subscribe to your your podcast and your Instagram as well as mine. I'm, I'm sure. I don't know. I don't know about that, but <laughs> I will say this: I I finally this week I got my first. Oh yeah. Member, I got my first member Yay. this week, and it was MC DJ ACDC. Hold on. So, can you hear that? You didn't hear that, did you? And he froze up. <laughs> did you really freeze up? <laughs> He's, I don't know if you heard that applause there, thunderous applause. Yes. Uh, well, I'm back now. Yeah. Did you hear I this? I had the spinny disc again. Did you hear? Can you hear this? I can hear you now. Yeah. Did you hear that? Oh, uh, see, so he promotes this channel all the time. So thank you. I do appreciate that, yeah. Lone. Uh, I really, really do. He does. He does. I appreciate all my viewers. The funny all thing my is, subs. me and Caveman started podcasting in 08, and uh, mainly audio. And, cause, and I said, let's get on YouTube. It was only audio because I was afraid to show this ugly mug. That's ex- uh, is that, oh, you're video. Going, you're, you're I'm like, who the, who who the heck wants to this? see this ugly face? So I went with you on that, and we should have jumped on the video bandwagon. But we should but have, and you know, we really, and we really missed it when, when we weren't when we weren't doing it in 2020. Yeah. We really missed the boat on that one. I could, things kind of fell apart in 2020, and now so it took years to get it up and going. And yeah, like I, in September, September 7th, I'm coming up on my 10 year anniversary of my podcast, Geek Home World. It, but I, I'd have to average about 12 to 13 episodes per month to, to make it my 200th episode. So at some point <laughs> in September, I would love to have a whole bunch of people on a live stream for that to do a big celebration. So I got to figure out how to well, you let me let me know when my friend I will be there. But it's, thank you. It's September 7th is the actual date will be 10 years and that'll be. 2008 to 2024 is 15, 16 years that I've been podcasting. I don't know. I, I, something like that. But um, but literally, like, um, I know, Caveman, when he, was, when he started doing the YouTube thing, is what, 23 or 22? When you started. Who, me? You 21. 21. 21. This is, this is season four. This is season four. We're in wow. now. Damn. I remember when we were, last time we were talking, I swear it was season two, but um, yeah, so he, it's like. That was two years ago, dude. God, where you been? <laughs> I don't know where I've been. I don't know where I'm going. Still don't. But um, yeah, I was like, before that, I was like, you ought to get into YouTube. And, and I kind of showed you a little bit with YouTube, but then you just kind of took it on your own. You kind of went silent for a while. Next thing I know, you're you're on a live stream. You're like, what? 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 <laughs> And he's like, and you were like, I remember when you had like 20, 20, oh. 20 subs and now you're what? Damn near 800. If not that. Uh Oh, hold on. He's freezing again. <laughs> we're going to have, we're going to probably have to end the stream soon. I was having problems with my Verizon all day. I couldn't make phone calls, but the Wi-Fi was working for some reason. So we had some weird kind of outage up here. So I don't know if it's affecting him down there. But he should be back in a second, and then we're gonna have to wrap this. Up. This almost three-hour live stream, Joe Fest 2024 recap. 
I'm back. You're back. <laughs> I'm I, back. I filled the air because I worked in radio. Were you, were you were you ending the show? I w- uh, well, I did that earlier <laughs> the first time. You, <laughs> I was getting all the plugs in there just in case. So yes, yes, plug away, plug but away. But I was talking about. I remember when you had about 20 subs, and you were like, you. Were I like, was so excited. Yeah, and and I remember being. I think I've been keeping a scrapbook of mine from two buddy. You can print out the little sheets that tell you when you read certain milestones, and I have some. I did. You know, I had. I've been. I've been keeping those digitally. I haven't been printing them I out. To, you, you ought to print them but, out and make a little book. It would be kind of cool just to, you know, when you're... Maybe one day. When you're feeling unmotivated on a certain day, it might be good to kind of pull that out and go, or look I'm, at it digitally. When know? it when it comes to this, I'm not, well, I won't say I'm never unmotivated. There are days where I'm just like, oh, man, I really don't feel like climbing the stairs. Well, that's the thing, you know, because it's, but, hard, it's hard not to have creator envy and when somebody you see like surpasses you in so many ways, I mean, that's what caveman did. I've, I've always been happy for him and super happy for him, but it's like, Oh my God, he's putting out a video a day every day. And so when I wonder when he's like 700, 800 subs, it's because he's grinding it out every single day. Yes. And, every uh, single day, every day, Monday through Friday. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Monday through at least I take the, I take the weekends off for editing. And he has a very understanding uh, digital cave queen there. She yes, yes. She she, she goes awesome. right along with it. Yeah, and one day she'll be able to retire, and you'll be living off that YouTube ad money. Oh right? yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll be what a hundred and five then, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, it might be two thousand by then. They'll probably change it where you can't. You just write the date. Yeah, yeah. I just threshold. you know I just I just got my my first member, so they'll change the tiers or something. Yeah, and you were saying okay, <laughs> um, cool. So uh, so do you want to briefly tell about your membership tiers? Plug that. Um, I would, but I don't have it right in front of me, and I can never remember what I put on which tier. Just everybody just needs to become a member, and then you can find but, out. Yeah, or you can you can you can go to youtube.com slash at digital caveman slash join and you can look at all the tiers right. and see if anything's right for you, yep. but only if you were in a position to do so. Exactly. And if you're if you if you're not in a position to do so, don't please do put that money where it needs to go. That's right. In my pocket. I mean no. <laughs> In your pocket. Keep it in your own pocket. No, no, no. Yes. Keep it in your pocket and use it to pay your bills That's right. or whatever you need to do. If you're not in a position to, if to you support. Have, if you have to be a young and you better talk to your, your parents about that. Your adult. Yes, please. I don't want to be getting no nasty emails. Yeah. How dare you? Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> anyway. So, uh, so thank you for everybody that showed up. Thanks for to Raz. Yeah, yeah, it was for, great to have for him coming on for a little while. Uh, thanks for Digital Cave Queen for yeah. for helping us out on some stuff. Yes, that we we. <laughs> no, that's not working. I promise. I, I'm not going to repeat well, oh, that. Oh, you're talking about the money. Yeah, I don't know where you know Lone th- Dragon, where I, your money needs to go. That's completely up to you. You'll have to watch if, the video. If it's if it's on what you said there in the chat, then you know if that's where you need to put it, then please you know, be safe about it. And, um, <laughs> to each his own or somebody and, else's, uh, you know, don't, <laughs> don't fall into any, uh, 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 police, uh, entrapments or anything like that. We do, so. not, we do not officially condone that comment, but we don't disagree <laughs> with it. No. Well, you know, it's, it's, it's your money. Please, please do with it as, uh, as you need to do be with responsible. It. And I know, Lone Dragon, I know you're not spending your money on that because it's all on plastic crack. <laughs> He's got a plastic. He's uh, addicted to plastic. He, he has a plastic addiction. A plastic fetish. Just like me. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, it's an addiction. It's, y'all, the good thing about plastic crack. my channel not being there yet is I, I don't have to buy a lot of stuff. To, that's to true. That's true. I that's true. You talk. don't. You do not have to buy the products to review. And I checked on that. It is not tax deductible because I checked. <laughs> I, I was wondering if it could be. The business no, checks. no, no. I was wondering too, and I checked. No, it is not tax deductible at at all. Oh, dear. I wish that it were. I wish that it were. All righty. Well, let's wrap it up. 
I did not spend. Oh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna risk. Oh, he said I did not spend. <laughs> oh Lord, man, hundred dollars on you can't, pre-orders. Yeah, he can't. He, I bet he canceled all his uh, all his Hasbro Pulse pre-orders. He canceled all his Big Bad pre-orders, oh. and because they're running a sale over on uh, on Entertainment Earth, you spend X amount, you get X amount off, and free shipping. He should have floated so, you alone to get that Millennium Falcon for like three hundred. <laughs> No, man, I told you, I had nowhere to put it. I got nowhere for it to you, go. You literally don't, I got, sir. I got six, uh, four by eight display tables, and I don't have anywhere for that thing to go. <laughs> so you're about to have a third story on your house. <laughs> uh, no. Put it on the roof. No, no. Oh, dear. Close in the garage. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but you have to insulate it, though. Make sure it's No, insulated. but if I... Oh, it's insulated. The walls it's, are insulated. Okay, there you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just ain't got no air out there. Oh, I just stick something in the window. That's how that's how your your uh, man cave used to be. <laughs> no air. At times. Yeah, that's what it felt like. You can see you can see now. I, I the vent was blocked up, so I built a diverter, and it's even got a little uh, flap on it, so I can steer the air where I want it to go. That's smart. That's uh, get, smart. Getting getting a little redneck engineering going on. If it works. <laughs> All righty. Uh, I don't know how that rumor got started either. I don't need... <laughs> I certainly didn't say anything about it. Yeah. I wish I had $600. Much. I don't, I'd have to pay a bill, though. Damn oh, it. come on, man. It's pre-orders. It's pre-orders. pre-orders. You don't pay up front. Oh, you don't pay up front? No, 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 no. Oh, in that case. You just, you just have to pay when it ships. Uh, <laughs> you're like, oopsies. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you ship it to... So, I hope, I hope you all... Y'all know where to find Ed at Geek Home World now. Please and tell everybody. I, I'm, I'm guessing that you know how to find me now. So please check that out. Check out my uh, membership tier. See if anything's right for you. If it's if you're in a position that that uh, you can help the channel out, do it. And you get you get you get a little bit of stuff like on on the low tier. I think it's. Uh, You get the emojis. I got a few little emojis and badges and stuff uh, that you can use. And what else? There's something else on that one. Then the second tier, you get early access to the sizzle reel at the beginning of the week. Whenever I drop that, you'll have that. And then the last tier so far, I'm planning one more tier. And but the the legendary tier, you get early access to all the regular videos as I upload them. So if you want early access, that's that's the one you you're wanting to look at. But so please check those out. And again, if if you're in a position to do so and you want to help the channel out further, other than viewing and subbing. You know that counts a lot too. So, but if you if you've already done that and you want to do something else to help the channel out, like MC DJ AC DC, then please feel free to do that if you're in a position to do so. I was thinking, you know, we've talked about. I thought about starting a Patreon. I already got the idea for my Patreon, what I would call it, but I don't know that I've got enough followers that might be engaged enough. Yeah, even. That. I, I don't have enough engagement for that either. But I do, I do. That would be something nice to have, you know, and I'd put out special content for that. But I think that as much as I like the production side of things, I, I just really prefer just hitting the hit and record and just go with it, you know, and just, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, you know, I'm getting, I'm getting to where used to, I would hate editing. I hated it. I did not enjoy it at all. But I'm getting to the point now that I don't mind it so bad because a lot of it is I, you know, I figured out. Oh, excuse me. I figured out over you know the, the four years that I'm doing it, uh, the program that I'm using. It's I won't say it's not user friendly. It is user friendly. It's not the most compatible with with other like special effects and stuff like that. Right. And not a lot of people use it. Well, you know, taking a but it's the one it's the one I'm vested in now, so I'm just gonna keep plugging away. But I know now how to make the templates for it, so that helps out a lot. Right. 
especially with the chroma key. Now, when it was just your workflow down, then yes, kind of plugging things in and then you can just kind of and you can add spice and little things to, you know, change it up a little bit. But yes, like when basic when the X-Men 97 storm video hits, it's going to have some motion backgrounds going on and. We in- and stuff. I'm really, I'm really excited about that one. I thought about moving it up, but I didn't. You so. got a, you got a plan. So keep, stick, stick with the plan. Stay on target. <laughs> <laughs> but um, don't impact into the surface. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> like I've learned After Effects, InDesign, Photoshop, and Premiere Pro. So a lot of those I, I can put in the After Effects. I've been wanting to do that since like Smallville. I want to do like a, a little mini movie where I've got uh, the speed effects, the like X-ray vision. I want to do stuff like that. So maybe. Yeah. And see, I've looked, I'll just, I've looked at a bunch of those packs as uh, to see if it's something that's compatible with mine. And some of them say they are, but then you download the, the free trial or whatever, and they don't it's, work. It's Adobe. You have to get the creative cloud so. for 20 bucks a month, which is affordable. I have access to several programs and I'm not even using half the programs. I don't, you know, they even have smaller versions of them, more compact versions of like Premiere Pro and stuff like that, like where you could just like quick edit. And then you can also get the app on your phone, which I haven't done the app on the phone yet. But yeah, I just, I don't want to do any editing on my phone. Yeah, I I, I know. I don't see how that could be it's too small i need a bigger work face and honestly i can see now why people have these massive monitors and all that and uh i've got like an old tv here that i, I may eventually use as like a monitor in here i've got a couple of mo- you've seen the monitors i have and they're not yeah up, yeah yeah but i gotta figure out my space more but I, anyway so well we almost made it to three hours <laughs> I better shut up or we'll keep talking. So I'm out of uh, refreshments. So did you freeze up again? Oh, no, there you are. Just being quiet. Are you out of words? Can't hear you. Did your, I think his, his microphone cut off. Hold on. There, can you hear me now? Yeah. Did your battery run out on the other one? Yeah, my mic died. Yeah. Well, which I love this, and I'm glad this is a two pack. That that is pretty awesome. You know, I might need to. I might need. Well, I've already got my sound. I don't really need it, but it would be nice to have something portable. I've been looking at those. Yes, ones unfortunately, I just I don't like the fact that this is. You know, I can use it with my computer, and I love that, but I can't use it with my phone. Which seems crazy. So, yeah, it is. It's it's because my phone has the three point five millimeter jack for audio, which is and crazy because phones and don't not even have the, those jacks anymore. Yeah, they don't even have those jacks. So anymore. when you have Mine's to upgrade a, that phone, that's uh, S ten plus. Oh wow! So when you upgrade that phone, so that's old money. Is you're gonna lose? Yeah, when I upgrade, that with, that's I'm gonna put that off as long as I can. Well, that's a good way to save money too, as long as it works. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. don't load it down with a bunch of junk like I did, like eleven thousand photos I had on there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what the stuff is. I just take pictures of everything. Oh man. So, <laughs> I need an editor. That's what I need. <laughs> no, I need an editor. You you need no, an not editor. anymore. I, I'm, I'm I'm getting pretty. I, I could be your editor. I just gotta. We just gotta start with small projects. <laughs> I don't know, man. I can be, I can be an a hole for a boss. I'm sure you, uh, you were an a hole when you were my boss. Actually, you were my cool boss. One of my cool bosses. Yes. How many other bosses did you have that went, and, you know, ate lunch and you hang out at their house and and stuff like that? That's true. Because you had, you had, you had a decent amount of Star Wars stuff, if I remember. Oh yeah, yeah. I had apartment. I had a two bedroom apartment, and one bedroom was just Star Wars. That's all that was in it. And gosh, this was before you were married, so. Yes, it was before I was married. Which was? In 2001. 23 years ago. That was that. back in, that was back in like 99, 2000. Wow. Yeah. 
That's true. That's true. Wow, good times, good times. So we've, yeah. So we've known each. So we've known each other twenty twenty five years ago. Twenty five years ago. Right, because we. What did we say? We said up before. We met before episode one or after? Was it around? No, it was. Before. I want to say. I want to. I want to say it was after. I remember us talking. About- uh, we could. We could have been. It, we could have met before because I was. I was at your store filling in some when I was still training. That's probably when as a manager. Did. So. Yeah, God, that was decades ago, and we just had the 25th anniversary of episode one. Boom, my hat. Or, yeah, wow. There we go. Crazy, crazy. Old parts. We're old. All right. Well, let's. Uh, I'm gonna end this before, uh, before I get the spinny going. wheels again. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not. It, I'm so, not. If this becomes an audio podcast, it's gonna be a three-hour freaking podcast. Oh, you're not editing anything. Uh, when it comes to that, are you are you going to throw the pictures in there? <laughs> well, on the audio, I can't. <laughs> but uh, well, yeah, you have to you have to like use the audio track and just throw pictures in there and make it a video. Didn't didn't we? Um, didn't I? Can I take your YouTube video and throw it on mine or whatever? I don't know your live. Stream. I don't know. You can put the. I know I can get the, the link. audio from it. I can put the link, I guess. Well, you you should have all the audio. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Um, some of it wasn't recording. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, so it originally, I mean, I got more than the majority of what we talked about, but I I think once we got into it, there might be some I'm missing on the front end, but it's what. Oh, it that's is. fine. It's what it is. That was all visual stuff, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> all right, man. Thanks for having me on. All right. Thank you, everybody who tuned in. Right. I do appreciate it. Each and every view second counts. Yes. And me, me as well. Please spread the word. Check check, Any, check Ed's Geek Home World out. Anybody wants to come Any, on and geek out, I, I'm like the funniest You never know. know you might like it. You might like it. Do it. So. <laughs> Bye. I'm leaving the studio. Bye. Thanks for listening to another exciting episode of the Geek Homeworld podcast with your host, Ed, a.k.a. the Savage Tech Man. Remember to follow us on X, Instagram, Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for being a part of the Geek Homeworld.